We're doing a bit of a beginner's guide over here. I've been working through the content of the game and today we are up to the point where we're going to do the wine cellar dungeon. Um, we're kind of like super kitted out. We've got this level 20 Pella the Well Travelled, who has he's, he's been around a bit at this point in this game. Uh, he's fully kitted out. I did remake his armour between streams uh, because I forgot to do it before the uh, yesterday. <sighs> um, I recrafted his armour with our scout right. And so he has a little bit of an um, extra boost to his stats. He's got, um, yes, 5% strength weapon damage, 5%. 8%, 8%, and 8%. And his armor is now up to 1740. So he's got a bit of a boost to his armor. <sighs> so I would like to have a shield right, ideally, to craft his armor, because they will give him extra armor value for each piece. But we have found a scout right, um, which makes armor way less. So we have crafted it with that. Um, and I always put a bulk uh, plating on my thralls armor to give them the most armor possible these days. Um, you get that from completing the Warmaker dungeon and you can learn this, uh, what is it called? You can learn this mod when you finish it, uh, the Warmaker dungeon and you click on the tablets at the end. I have done that in this series. You can watch it back on YouTube if you want to. So there you go, he's fully kitted out. Yesterday we did the master armorer journey. Uh, just go through like all the armorer journeys in the journey section. What do you want to call it? Um, until you get to the master armor, do the armor, and then you'll see the other ones will pop open uh, available. Um, and that means we can make perfected heavy boots, which have the best armor value. And they also buff uh, agility and strength. If you craft them with a named uh, armorer, you'll get 5% on each of those. There you go. So he's kind of, he's kind of boosted. Once we get a shield right, we'll recraft this again. Um, my armor is the Skelos Cultist Master which you learn from uh, killing sorcerers. You get the recipe from them. And because we crafted it with our scout, right, I have done something unusual and I have put bolt plating on it. Unusual for me, because usually I want to keep my weight down as much as possible when I'm running around, because I want to take advantage of this medium, uh, what is it called? Armor class, weight class here. This is anything over here will count as heavy. Anything here is light in the green. And we want to be light or medium because then we'll take advantage of Precision Strike, which is an agility perk, which gives us 10% additional armor pen while carrying a medium or lighter load. There you go. Gosh, just give me a moment to like catch my breath. Okay, so we we could be wearing the chest piece from the Skelos Cultist Master set. Um, this is a fantastic set if you have a thrall who isn't particularly strong in terms of like damage, right? This uh, this Pell of the World Travelled, he's a named bearer. He carries loads of stuff. He has an extra row of like inventory down here, which is wonderful. Uh, but he doesn't hit very hard. So which is why we've given him fantastically strength boosting uh, armor. We've also given him the best mace in the game, the momentum. Um, and we will boost his damage with Black Lotus Potion, which will give him 15% and cooked pork, which will give him 25% strength weapon damage. Um, yes, so my armor, this Skeletal Skullsy stuff, is extra good for him because it boosts his uh, f boosts his damage. We get 10% follower damage from each, each piece. I could choose to wear the chest piece, which will do the same thing, but I get a little bit more agility weapon damage from this medium pauldron from Silent Legion, um, and that's it, and a little bit more armor value. Um, I have got... Where is it? Oh, I did craft the Skelos Cultist Master chess piece because um, I wanted to have a think about it before the stream. I could easily switch to this. If I want him to do more damage, I could definitely switch to that. Um, but I do like doing as much damage as possible, personally. If I want to do even more damage than I'm currently doing, I could switch to a light set. There is the Ranger armor, uh, which you can learn from doing the... Is it the Ranger Journey? Haven't I haven't missed your resub by the way, people. I will I will just kind of get into my monologue. Um, where is it, peeps? Is it the oh god, archer, sharp suitor? I think there's probably another one, isn't there? Anyway, yes, I think the ranger comes up after I do that one. Anyway, that will give each piece of my armor eight percent agility. Um, I could also make the black corsair set, which we learned yesterday from Buccaneer Bay. Um, which is this stuff here, and this will give us 8% uh, agility weapon damage as well. Very, very, very light armor, not a lot of armor value. I would put bolt plating on it. When I do things solo, I Hello would there. switch to that probably. 
Um, but because I'm running around with a thrall, I want him to kind of be tanky. I want him to do a decent amount of damage. Then we're compromising and we're kind of mixing it up. But yeah, there you go. Those are the options. Um, let me catch up. Uh, Anna Kiel, thank you for the thank you for the prime. Welcome in. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you for following as well. Uh, Ikashi, thank you for following. Welcome, people. Welcome, welcome. Dungeon. Is it for... Oh, from the dungeon, Delver. Thank you. Right. Okay. Thank you, people. Uh, yes, we are working through the dungeon... Del there it is. Yes. Thank you so much. We are working through the dungeon Delver journey, but I'm not, like, ticking it off. I'm not tracking it. I'm just kind of using it to remind myself which dungeons I have and haven't done. So, yes, when you've done that, you can learn the ranger armor. There you go. Oh. <sighs> Yes. How are you all doing? How is it going, people? Uh, weird question. If one build his or her base in the middle of enemy spawn very close, can they enter and destroy your stuff? If you're talking about enemy as in NPC spawns, it depends what you mean, right? If, are you talking about like a boss? So if it's a, so, certain NPC camps have no build zones around them, but there are certain things that spawn on the map that you can block off by building. So if you build where the rhino boss is, for example, um, at the oasis over here, um, the rhino just won't spawn. So he won't just appear. Um, if you're on your own server and you've changed the settings so that he'll still spawn nearby or close by and stuff like that, then potentially he could just attack you. But generally speaking, you'll end up just blocking off the spawn. They shouldn't. They definitely won't spawn inside your house. Um, if you're talking about the beta, where there is the... Uh, Oh, the siege fortress at the ruins of Almoraya. That is supposed to respawn pretty much regardless of what you do nearby. So that, that, that does that help? Um, bit cold, minus one. Yeah, it's very chilly here. So Ranger Armour good for as far along as you are by the time you get it. Yes, definitely a cat. So what I would use the Ranger Armour for is um, solo. Or if I'm doing things solo. Um, I don't have a lot of armor from it, but if I'm going to go around to fighting bosses, as long as I have steel feud, enemies will have to hit me three times uh, before they can kill me. And that might not seem like very many hits, but there are enemies in this game that can two shot you like the Red Mother, uh, the Arena Champion. There are a bunch of them or a few of them. So if you're fighting bosses, um, it doesn't really matter about little tiny bits of damage you might take that you would get from an NPC camp. For that, you kind of want just want heavy armor because you're going to get peppered by arrows, lots of little hits and things like that. But if I'm going around fighting bosses, I'm doing it solo, then light armor with steel feud is perfectly good. And my preference. There you go. As long as I do more damage. Purges can definitely destroy your stuff. Yes. If we're talking about purges, yeah, it depends what you're asking about, really. Very, very precise. Thank you. Hello, Void. Hello. How are you doing? Speaking of dodos, Void, sorry, this is not on my connection. I have been very excited about the game Under a Rock uh, for quite a while, which is like an Unreal Engine 5 uh, survival game that's coming out in the summer of next year. They've just released a trailer. I posted it in the Discord and I've tweeted about it. So if you're like excited about new survival games coming out, I'm like super hyped about that. Just thought I'd mention it, seeing as Void is my dodo reminder now. I'm so sorry, Void. And there's loads of dodos in that game and they're always talking about how many dodos are in this picture. Anyway. Poor Void. We'll move on. Um, only Void knows why I said that. Check out after the stream. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a trailer that's been released today. It's part of the PC gaming showcase or whatever it's called. Oh, right. Should I let me get rid of this little goal thing because it's kind of doesn't make any sense. Um, nice. Okay. Awesome sauce. Uh, let me have a quick sip of water and then we're going to continue with our little journey. So yeah, we're going to go do wine cellar today and we're also going to do silver mine as well. Right. All right, friendos. Are we all prepped? So, uh, so I've talked about my armor. Um, I have max agility here. Uh, because I want to hit as hard as possible. I have three perks in vitality. Now, between yesterday and today, I did respec so that I could take advantage of faster healer instead of resurgence. Because I don't generally use uh, need resurgence very often. If I'm doing something like fighting the arena champion or I'm fighting the red mother in the unnamed city and I'm wearing light armor, then resurgence is a bit more important to me. But in this kind of like th over a thousand armor that I have now, I think faster healer is going to help us the most. Um, 
what happened. Fight in our ear. Welcome back, lovely. Thank you for 13 months, goodness me. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, lovely. Uh, yes. Yes, where was I going with this? So, yes, max agility. Uh, and then, yeah, faster healer in vitality. So, there you go. No points in authority. Um, generally speaking, this means it would take a while to knock out enemies around the map. But we've got a lot of concussive damage from our Skellis Cultist Armour. We've got this additional co uh, concussive damage. Um, we also have some purple lotus orbs if we want to go into Sep and Rue, somewhere where the enemies are peaceful. Or just even we just want to chuck one down on the ground to help us knock somebody out if we do that. Um, our Thrall will, would benefit definitely from points and authority to do more damage. But he gets extra follower damage from our armour and he's incredibly boosted by his gear. So there you go. But he's really just here to be a tank for me. And then we got the first perk at Perkin Expertise just to help us carry a bit. Oh, there we go. Right, weapons. I have the Bector Corbin, which is my favourite, one of my two favourite weapons currently in the game for my personal use. It's an agility hammer. It does a lot of damage. It has a master weapon fitting on it. I'm also using the Blade of the Adventurer, which is a two-handed agility weapon. These are both from uh, legendary chests you get from around the world, from fighting bosses, looting skeleton keys, and going to dungeons to get those. We got Sword of Champions from the, what is it called? From the Volcano this week. Uh, and I have Reach the Red Mother, which is arguably the best bow in the game, which you get from the Red Mother Dragon in the Unnamed City. It's a rare drop. We did very well to get it. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I've run out of breath at the beginning of the streams. Um, so much, t which is my brain trying to focus. All right, people, should we go? What am I forgetting? He's he's had a snack. Let's give him his damage boost from there. Let's eat an elixir of grace and a piece of salted exquisite meat. He's going to carry that for me. He can carry some spare potions. He'll drink these because I have the better thralls mod. And I think we're ready. I might just get a couple more bits of... Uh, what is it called? Salted exquisite meat. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. So we'll do wine cellar and then we'll do the silver mine afterwards, I think. Today. Salted exquisite meat. Let's just take like two more. I'm trying to keep my weight down as much as possible because my armor weighs a bit more than usual. And I'm trying to keep ourselves in a medium class. Horses got tools, things like that, just to keep our weight down. Excellent. So. We are going to go to Seppen Rue now. We're going to ride there. We haven't made a map room because I'm just, yeah, I just haven't got around to it yet. And I kind of like just riding around. Unfortunately, I'm in creative mode. There we go. There's our buffs. Perfect. Oh, horsey. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I get you to move. Oh, that was kind of scary. The other day, um, the horse was like, on our backs <laughs> as we were like running around. Um, I think the game audio is good. There we go. Uh, Captain Rogers, thank you for following. Hello, Will. Hope they double XP before next chapter. Ah, yes, they announced, uh, when was it? Like yesterday, a couple of days ago, there is an XP boost coming for if you're talking about in-game, then no. But if you're talking about the Battle Pass, yes, they're doing a boost. Starting from maybe tomorrow, 30 days of September, April, June, and November. Yeah, starting tomorrow from the 1st of December, I think. Um, this is not a flying camel, I know. The flying camels are now fixed. Is everybody with us? Yeah, let's go. Um, hello, Burke. How are you doing, buddy? Horse looks like Leopold Nod the Fourth. Who is Leopold Nod? Do you mean Leopold? Is that like a thing I'm not getting? How are you doing? It's good to see you. Raise your hand if you have a question. Oh, that's so cute. Bum ba dum bum. Do do do. Leopold nerd. I don't know. What is this? Can't do how many days in the month with the song either. Yeah, so I can only do I, I do 30 days half September, April, June, and November, and then I remember all the rest have 31. And I remember that February is sometimes like 29. But I just do the first bit and that's all. It helps me. It's a mix of Leopold and Leonard. I see. I see. This is one of those things that just goes right over my head. I'm just going to nod and smile. To the moon. I was coming back to the game for Flying Camel. Am I being denied? I mean, maybe there'll be a mod for you um, for Flying Camels. Should we go up this way? 
let's continue let's continue around the river bum, 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 bum. Doo, doo. how many months how many months have 28 days though so is it February that's sometimes 28 or is it isn't it 29 sometimes uh, all of it yes thank you biscuits all of them well done Yes, I'm a last time a console nerd now. Ah, oh, I was a console nerd for a long time. Nothing wrong with that. Speaking of console, PlayStation friendos, ASA is out today. Ark Survival Ascended. The uh, re remake, rework, or whatever. On PlayStation. How do you guys feel about it? Are you going to play it? How many people have played it on Xbox? I think it's already out on Xbox, right? Bum, ba -dum, bum. Doo, doo, doo. I am going to play more. I have had a couple of comments um, on the YouTubes, mostly people saying, when are you going to play Ark again? I am going to play some, but I'm kind of like trying to power through this beginner's guide at the moment. And I'm a slave to my own like brain when it when it wants to do stuff. You know what I mean? Um, upgrade to the Series X and it's amazing how much better it Yeah, I bet it does. Yeah. I am quite sad that it, uh, PlayStation 5 hasn't had an upgrade. I hope they're working on that because that would be, you know, that would be really nice, wouldn't it? You know, you upgrade to next gen, you kind of want to see a bit of an upgrade on your favourite game. I'm on PS5. This is not the Assassin's Creed Origins, it's Assassin's Creed Final Fantasy Chocomo. Camel Mount, that is something I'm unfamiliar with. Had to tell me that with tests coming up. Had to tell me that with tests. Oh, about Ark. Yeah, sorry about that. How was the Indiana Jones watch through? It was good. It was good. You should come and watch with us sometime, Burke. Um, what are we? What are we up to now? We got to watch Crystal Skull next. So we watched the first three. Arguably the best one is like Last Crusade, right? PS5 upgrade would be amazing. Yeah. If they do a PS5 upgrade, I will do a playthrough. Uh, I promise you. I will do a Conan Excel's PS5 playthrough. Um, maybe like like one day a week or something like that. Um, but yeah, I would really like to because it will be a fun challenge for me to be back on like this small FOV and using a controller. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, I would really enjoy that. I was planning to do it um, like a while ago and I opened the game on PS5 and I was like... I don't know why I was expecting it to look better. Well, I was well, I was expecting it to look better than it looked on my PS4 Pro. So, they haven't optimized it for PS5. No, they haven't. So I think Xbox got the upgrade because of Games Pass. I think I think so. So it, it will look better on Xbox uh, next gen than PS uh, than PS5. Yeah, that's it. Bum, 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 bum. So we're riding up to the wine cellar, which I haven't done yet on this playthrough. It is one of my favourite dungeons. It's also one I've done the most. Um, wine cellar and warmaker I have done so many times. Oh, I'm pulling my sleeves down, chat. It's chilly here. Brr. What temperature is it where you are, peeps? It's like mine. Well, it's naught degrees here right now. Freezing. Uh, according to things for red, I've read on the internet. Games Pass is a reason. Yeah, I got the next touch. Yeah. Next gen treatment. Mm hmm. Yup, yup. Recommend you don't look it up. It's so bad. I got in the Assassin's Creed a long time ago. Um, I thought I thought it was actually Chocobo. It was like horrifying your own scarf life. It's funny because I played Or Origins as well. 19, 19 degrees here today. Oh my. I'm jealous. Minus four. Oh yo. 2 pm. 53 degrees. Not too bad. So it's. 20 less than this room i guess <laughs> i i need to work on my fahrenheit conversion someone's gonna be like why would you need to but i do um asa is after my exam oh i see single player though i'm not losing my life to pvp again yes i can't imagine playing arc and also having other players to contend with you know what i mean i did try um i did play very briefly a bit of arc pvp when i was like i was still like new to survival games um and i would like i would like load into the game 
and uh, I just kind of built something on the beach. And it, every time I logged back in again, it was gone. It's like little teeny tiny like thatch hut. And I couldn't work out if it's because a dinosaur had demolished it, which of course it didn't, or if it was somebody else. And that was quite early on in Ark. Yeah. Fahrenheit is the better version. It is not, Burke. Come on now. It's surely, surely zero is freezing and anything less than freezing is a minus number. It's just better. Surely. Come on now. 11 degrees Fahrenheit. Minus one on the, on the Lack Mountains. For Lack Mountains. So other games are fun with a couple of friends for the unwashed masses. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of tough, isn't it? All right, people. Let's put him on attack nothing. As we're going into Sepa Maroon. Should we just... We better check our spawn points, haven't we? See if we get somebody. Because I would like to get a shield, right? And there's some guaranteed armour of spawns. Not of shield rights, but just guaranteed armour of spawns at the second room. So it'd be rude not to. Bum, ba, dum. This is a guaranteed armour of spawn. These are guaranteed blacksmiths. I'm not going to do like the full tour of all the spawn points. I'm just going to run around and check. See what we get. On our way to the wine cellar. Dun, ba, da, dun. Hopefully we get, we get lucky because I would really like a shield right on this playthrough before we finish it. Usually I do, but I haven't done a lot of like just hanging out and playing. I've been really trying to kind of keep things focused. Cook. What do we got? Blacksmith. There's a, there's a lone fisherman over there. Do you know we don't have a cook? But because this is a server, he will still be there after we finish the dungeon, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Okay, peeps, shall we go? Uh, this is Flotsam. It's a cool thing they've added from Sipto. You get like, generally so far, I've got curative mixture and there you go, yeah, booze, alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. Curative mixture is handy. Curing debuffs, you can, you can hold on to that. All right, peeps, I am so cold, oh my God. Move people. Okay, let's do it. Ready. I don't base my life around water. Ah, you see, now if you lived in Blighty, you would definitely base your life around precipitation. And the, yes, it is a PvP is getting pulled because of hackers, cheaters, is it? Wonder how the PvC stuff is going to work on officials here, kind of think, thinking it's going to be a cluster. Yeah, it's definitely going to be very laggy around the savannah, I would say. Feel cheesy because of this city. There's so many chests with free loot. Yeah, I mean there always were. It was always a really good place to start off, but now that there's full durability tools, it does make a huge difference. Like we say, it's not. It's chilly when it's cold. When chilies are hot, fair, very fair. Wish there's a way to place consumables on tables and stuff. You mean like in Valheim, like decoration kind of like putting a uh, what is it called, like a bowl of food. Okay, so first of all, we have Seth the Drunk here. He hits pretty hard. But I can kill him in two hits now because I'm pretty powerful. Oh, thank goodness for that. There we go. That is what we were looking for. Yes, Steak and Eggs, but also Seth's Truncheon, the best torpidity weapon in the game. Now, yes. So we'll be using that to swap with our uh, Steel Truncheons. I always mention, if you're playing single player, you can just come in here, kill Seth, go out the door... And then every time you teleport back in, he will have refreshed. He'll be back again. So you can just go out and come back in, go out and come back in. And just, it's a very easy way to get uh, Seth's truncheon. If you're on a server, you have to wait 15 minutes for him to respawn. So if I do this dungeon, I come in, I kill Seth, I do the dungeon. And when I come out, I push pop back in the entrance and kill him again, just to double up. And then every time I pass here, I kill him. <laughs> Poor Seth. Just so I can get hold of as many of these truncheons as possible. There you go. So we will put um, a concussive, uh, an advanced, what is it called, uh, blunted weapon fitting on that. Right, attack all enemies. He's on like short follow distance. He's got a good weapon. Let's go, friends. In here are a couple of Relic and Treasure Seekers. It is RNG. Um, if they're archers or fighters, you can thrall them. You can take them out through the front door, put them in the wheel. They're not particularly good, and they're agility thralls. So, yes, by all means, use them. 
but they're not like the best or anything anymore. All right, this is a wine cellar. So there is usually like a, a sound that plays, but we've like popped in to see it before. We've already discovered it. We just haven't done the dungeon yet. There's a bunch more relic hunters in this kind of early section. Bum, ba -da -bum. I'm gonna use my two-handed weapon. There's enough light here. It is a reasonably dingy dungeon. So you might want to bring a one-handed weapon and a torch. Definitely bring a torch. I'll just get away from you so I can heal. So my heal should be 50% more efficient now. Because I use that second that, that perk in vitality. Dudes. You could use uh, Forge Light if you're doing a strength build, and that will give you a hammer with light kind of emitting from it. There's also a bunch of other weapons that do that. Glimmer Moon is an axe that does that. There we go. Did we get everybody? Are there any bits we can loot? What do we got? Ooh, okay. Yes. So now enemies have a chance to drop the armor that they're wearing. Um, so the mini bosses from in here and also in the wind, uh, the unna unnamed city uh, have a chance to drop Silent Legion pieces, which is really, really good and gives you double uh, cold pr uh, heat protection, uh, which is amazing because you're considering just to loot it. Um, sometimes they'll drop two pieces. Um, the heart of a hero uh, you want to keep because that will clear all of your corruption by eating it. It'll last 40 minutes. I would save it to the very end of the dungeon uh, because there are enemies in here that will corrupt you a little bit, which will build up. And then at the end, you want to have as much health and stamina as possible. So there you go. Let's take heals. You could take the radium head. I'm not going to take repair kits because I hate them these days. Um, we'll take the radium head. We'll give it to our thrall to carry. There we go. Good start. All right, people. Anything else interesting on these people? No, not really. Um, there's a lot of chests with loot in this dungeon, and there are Kari steel uh, little fragments that you can pick up. Um, so look around for those, because there are some recipes you learn at the end of this dungeon, which you need Kari steel to craft. So look out for those. They're kind of tucked away in like the back areas. Did I go? Oh my, what happened? Templar, thank you for gifting a sub to Kallus. Thank you, lovely. Um, Seth, it's time for your daily bludgeoning so I can have your truncheon. That's it, yes. Chess and Seth but dropping NPCs is wild. Yeah, it is quite wild. Which is a waste of place to consume rules here pretty hard. Smack him to hit. Well, yeah, so do we. You have authority build or doing all the hard work yourself. I have zero authority. Uh, but my I am wearing... Uh, what is it called? I am wearing... Skelos Cultist, so my follow has some extra damage, plus he, he hits pretty hard because of the de the gear he's got on, even though he's a named bearer, who are terrible for damage. Like, awful. Using a bearer. There you go, yes. Currently doing a Robert Baratheon build. Using Worldbreaker as my main. Mm. Uh, Joe, thank you for the follow, welcome. You can play the whole game now and never use crafting. You think that is the devs' goal? I think the devs probably want us to have a number of different ways to play, so that you can, so it's fun. Um, I think, uh, I think they just wanted to make loot more exciting because loot was incredibly boring and unrewarding for a long time, and I just never used to pick anything up. I don't know about you guys. Hello, mutton. How are you doing, lovely? Uh, hurry up, pressure cooker, and build pressure. I'm hungry. Uh, should we name your thrall Tanky Mut Tank Face? Just saying, it's a good suggestion. Hello, Zoom. How are you? Good to see you. All right, onwards, people. Here we go. Yeah, we did have had a bit of a discussion about... There's some curry steel. There you go. I had a bit of a discussion about my armor choice uh, at the beginning of the stream, but I'm kind of going for a balance between damage for him um, and agility for me. I still want to hit really hard, which is why we're wearing the Silent Legion chest piece. Um, my boots are, by the way, Skelos Cultists. They're just transmogged with the Silent Legion just because her feet got cold in this weather. There you go. There's always, um, well, quite often, a couple of Kari steel pieces back here. There we go. Sweet. So this is where the mini boss was that we just defeated. We were a bit more kind of quiet than they shouldn't have aggroed to us. And there's a couple of boxes here. There we go, some treasure. Nice. Can I get past you guys? 
No, I don't want to pick up stones. <laughs> I wish they would change that. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we got a couple more enemies down the bottom. I don't really need my two-handed sword, really, but I guess it might come in handy for the final fight. Try not to fall off, but if you do fall off anywhere in this dungeon, you will just teleport to the beginning of the dungeon with your thrall. Uh, you will not die. You will not lose your stuff. However, if you hit yourself on the way down, which you can do, and I have done, let's call it testing, <laughs> I've just been playing, then you will have to go and retrieve your body. <laughs> so be careful. And you can't climb in a dungeon, so you'll have to, like, drop down without dying. There you go. Fiery hot soup. Cool. There you go. So you just jump across here. Um, if I drop down there, I would just teleport to the beginning. So this kind of... That can come in handy, come in handy because... If you need to leave in a hurry, you can just jump off somewhere. Um, otherwise, you've got to go all the way back or defeat the boss at the end to get out of the dungeon. So that is why it's a good, it's a good idea. What do we got? Bone. We've got some lasting feast, which is a increased carry capacity item. I'm not going to pick those up. Oh, I'm going to pick them up because I like it. <laughs> it's, it's just I can't miss it. Um, hello, sir. There are torches you can interact with to light your way because it's quite a dark place fiery hot food which is a warming food there we go over the bridge there's a lot of enemies in here um they have changed aggro somewhat so everybody shouldn't all attack you at the same time um, but it is a kind of dungeon where you can get overwhelmed quite easily so I would kind of just just like any NPC camp move forwards and retreat if you need to try to control the fights don't go forwards because you'll aggro more people there we go there's the corruption you're going to pick up should we do our one-handed weapon which is why i brought it i don't like using the short sword but it's the only one-handed agility weapon that i've got so and it's just so dark in here. I have come here before without a torch and regretted it. Um, I do also have a Gaussian Dream Dust, but it looks horrid. I um, have some in my inventory. There we go. Snacks. I'm trying not to get hit because I don't want to I don't want to get corrupted by those whites. But I'm just I just do so much more damage with my hammer. Okay, can I just can I just heal, buddy? Uh, if you're new to the game and you're running an agility build, I do recommend you wear like Stygian soldier armor or um what is it called? The Dark Templar set from the Debauchies of Decato DLC. Because you're going to hit, get hit by a lot of individual enemies. Um, and you'll get peppered by arrows and things like that. So you might want to just go for a heavy armor. Just to give yourself some just general, like, more resistance. Um, I'm not too worried. I've done this dungeon hundreds of times. I'm not... I don't think I'm exaggerating. Um, so, yeah. And watch me die now. Because pride comes before a fall. But I do have steel food. So the enemies that hit incredibly hard, and there are some mini bosses in here that hit very, very hard, um, will literally two shot you um, in heavy armor, like in the best armor. Steel feud is going to be very handy for that. So there you go. Let's take all these loot. So yeah, there's curry steel and there's gold chests start about the place. I'm going to just show the go around these side bits, but I will show you my usual route. We came from here. This is the this is the bridge we came across. And usually I would just turn left. I'm going to stay on the path that I would usually take to keep it simple. I have had people complain to me that my directions weren't clear enough last time. And I was like, how is that possible? <laughs> how did you not see which way I was going? I feel like I took a lot of time explaining where to go. There you go. It's so dark, isn't it? There you go. Let's turn the light on. Take these things. I'm going to give snacks to my friend 
He won't eat most of them. He'll only eat these things. Um, we could give him the lasting feast, I suppose. Um, why not? Let's just give him stuff. You can have some snacks. Misty meat soup. This is a, uh, what is it called? A health buffing food. He shouldn't eat it. I'm just going to put it in his inventory until he can eat what he wants. Let's get things down. So I want to stay in this medium weight class so that I take advantage of... What is it called? Pre what is it called, people? Precision strike. I always forget. Yeah. Extra armor pen. Onwards. So we're just going to go in a straight line down there. You can explore all these sideways, looking for Kari steel, looking for gold and things like that in these chests. I'm just going to ignore them because otherwise people complain that I didn't give clear enough instructions about where to go. Um, and it gets confusing. So there you go. I'll just take stuff if it's on the on the beaten path. There you go. So straight line to the first mini boss. Um, this guy hits like an absolute unit. I have steel food. It will have to hit me three times before I die. Bear in mind, if you're on a server with any kind of lag... Look at that. My, uh, my thrall has 1740 armor. And has an enormous amount of health. Um, so yeah, the, if there's any kind of lag, you can get caught up in that, that AoE and die. There we go. Loads of XP from him. <gasps> Frickin' heck. I cannot tell you how many times I have fought this guy. I mean, I have gotten this a bunch of times, but I've played through the game a bunch of times since this dungeon came out. This is this is a hard drop to get. It's a pristine Kari bow. Um, I don't know if they've increased the drop rates of it, but at one point this was really one of the best bows in the game. Uh, it is still very good. 39, wait, 29, and 9% armor pen. Reach the Red Mother. This has got a... What is it called? It's got a master weapon fitting on it. I'm just going to compare it to the unbuffed item. So the Reach of the Red Mother with nothing on it is 34 and 9. This is 29 and 9. So it's it's very good, isn't it? And it's beautiful. I'll show you it. It's kind of got this... Can't have both out at the same time. Hold on a sec. Will it show it on my back? No, it won't. Excellent. <laughs> well, you could see it anyway. It has like a glow to it, like um, star metal does. Okay, so we're going to go across the water. So I'm going to show you just to keep it super clear. We came from here just now. We ran towards the boss. And now we're going to go left over the water. Look out for Kari steel on the ground and ignore the creepy noises coming from the the well so you don't have nightmares okay there's a couple of boxes over here usually there's grey lotus in this one here there we go how much should we get now and some bits and bobs okay onwards is the game just a wee bit loud in here let's turn it down just a little bit there we go uh, let's have a quick catch up game looks so much better than it does on PlayStation. Yeah, I played on PlayStation for like 5,700 of my hours approximately. And yes, it does, definitely. Um, do you uh, do you use sorcery light instead of a torch? I don't generally like running... Uh, I don't generally do like a corrupted build, so I generally don't use sorcery very much. I hate corruption. I just hate it. Um, I did on the first playthrough. We did a bunch of different things on the first sorcery uh, release. Um... Da, 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 da. Um, I got the mod better thralls very f and and fight very hard against using more than a limit of one thrall. Yes, that's it. So on our server we use better thralls and uh, we have extra thralls available to uh, extra followers available. I uh, I don't do that because I don't want to make it easier for myself on this playthrough. Um, hello XL, hello hello. You just ran, not resist then. Lasting feast. Just what is? What do you mean? You just something not resist the lasting feast. Uh, what vision are we carrying on playing? You ran past. I don't know what that means. Do you ever use a sorcery light? I eat a lasting feast and then carry gruel for food and water top it. Yeah, I like to carry a couple of pu uh, purified waters, and I like to eat um, 
what's it called? I like to use salted ex exquisite meat because I want to do more damage. That's my priority. Hello, in for pain. Hello. Dark Templar is awesome for agility. It is, yeah. Dark Templar and Stygian Soldier, both good for agility if you want to wear heavy armour, which definitely is a good idea. Uh, could you write in English, please, uh, for moderation purposes, or we will have to delete your messages. Thank you. Um, do you have a mod? It was like wine cellar solo. No, nice, but no with horse. Easy. Okay. Can you use the wisp spell? Yes, you can. Game looks better, yes. Um, are you excited for Dragon's Dogma 2? Um, I don't know. It's not really on my radar void. If you want to recommend something to me, put it in the suggestion box in Discord. Remember kidnapping countless thralls from this dungeon to fight to my base near this city? Yeah, I used to, definitely. When when relic hunters were like the best, I would I would steal them from here all the time. You just follow the trail of torches, don't you? Um, Jade, thank you for the follow. It was you cannot just really I can't resist the lasting feast. I know I can't, that's it, exactly. Um, let me just, where is it? There we go. Sweet. All right, let's continue, peeps. Dum, da, dum, dum, dum. Do, do, do. So let's light this. Is he dead? I can't not use my hammer. Sorry that you can't see very well, but I just like doing more damage. There we go. So there is a little um, cave over here, just back, back this way, behind us. And um, an undead shellback boss spawns there. If you like using water skins instead of purified water or foods that give you uh, water, then you can um, you can kill him and then you can use the Kari water skin which will give you more sips. He hits pretty hard because he's a world boss. But he's nothing you can't handle. There we go. No problem. There we go. We'll take the water skin which I never use. It comes full as well which is kind of interesting. Um, what does he, does he just give us putrid meat and, uh, what is that? Weak, 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 weak. Can I get, can I get you to stand here, bud? Let's put gold and things on him. Uh, what did I want? My harvesting tool. Putrid meat, bone. Okay. Nothing exciting. I wouldn't normally harvest him. Anything else I want to drop? Yes. I uh, don't need that torch. There you go. Perfect. Yep, so he spawns over here. There should be a chest. There you go. Some gold and silver. We should come across a bunch of uh, gold and silver in this dungeon. Um, if I miss chests that have gold and silver in, this isn't a all of the chests in this entire place, every single item you can find. Um, so do explore around. There's a bunch of them. I'm not going to like spend six hours showing every single one. It'll be boring to watch. There you go. But if I see something right next to me, I will click, click on it. There you go. All right, people, let's continue. It's a very nice atmospheric dungeon. So we're going to run straight down here. And then we're going to turn left to go across the bridge. Turn that on. There we go. Okay. Bum, ba -dum, bum. A lot of people. I see that I need to drink before you get really triggered, chat. Yeah? There we go. Oh, 
Okay. Let's have a snack and heal up. Uh, I didn't see you were with Pella. I thought you were soldering at what, what you actually did. Okay. Um, Russian, I give it a follow. Hello, Zarmel. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Um, yeah, I will do a solo series. I might do my next series as a solo series. Um, but this is a beginner's guide, so I'm not trying to show, like, I'm not, that's not what I'm doing right now. I'm taking a uh, named bearer, and I would usually take my horse so they can carry stuff. There you go. This isn't me proving that I'm, like, awesome or anything. There we go. Some more. We may as well collect this and give it to him, seeing as he can eat it. Lasting feast. Sweet. Here we go. So there's a couple of legendary chests down here. Um, and a very hard-hitting mini-boss. In this very creepy place. I want the little skellies to aggro to me first. The game doesn't want that to happen. So yeah, he, he hits so hard. It's very scary. Look at that. I wasn't even, like... I didn't look like I was near him. Normally, I wouldn't even get this close to him, to be honest. This is why it's really nice, when you're new to the game, to bring either a tier 3 bearer or a named bearer, because they both get a lot of HP. Tier 3 bearers are quite easy to get. If you want to see where to get bearers, watch my god tier fighters and where to find them video on my YouTube channel. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Sweet. He is down. So he can drop the pristine uh, Kari weapons as well. Uh, so I didn't, because I was so surprised to see one, I didn't even go into this. So yes, there's a few pristine Kari weapons you can pick up from the mini bosses here. Um, in the wine cellar dungeon. There's a bow, there's a short sword. Oh, what else is there? And they, they were incredibly hard to get. There you go. So a bow, a sword, and daggers. Is that everything? But they look very pretty. Some, you can, like, transmog them and whatnot as well. It's so annoying because as soon as I get these things out, you can't really see anything else. But there you go. They're very cool. Hard to see, but yes. Um, and there's the sword. Which have these little glowy, glowy bits. So there you go. I will drop those. And they're legendary, so not repairable, obviously. There we go. Right, so let's loot the legendary chests and get some... There are some uh, relic fragments here as well. I'm having trouble interacting with those. Here you go. Uh, legendary chests. Why can't I see them? Hello? Square up. Uh, hello? Am I missing something, chat? Why don't I see them? They've been broken. They were here earlier. Uh, God and his son tried working, tried working on my tour. What uh, drop watching earlier today? And some of the streams are hard to watch. Oh, bless you! It's good to have you here. Homemade chilled beer and Anna Piffer. Ah, oh, hello, Patrick. How are you? To the right, to the right of the torch area. No, these are the reg. These are like regular chests. So I came. Could you get out, me, buddy? Thank you. Um. There's so there's the what are they called? The fragments here. There's regular chests there, and there should be two legendary chests here. And I was here earlier today to double check where they were. Like today. And didn't loot them. They were like here. Isn't that weird? Gotta go. Okie dokie, see you later. So, okay, so I don't know why they're not here, but there should be two legendary chests over here to loot. That is really weird, isn't it? Are they like occasional spawns? It's like sipped now. Is it random? It shouldn't be, Keladric. It shouldn't be. So, but that would explain why when I came here on the beta that I didn't see them the first time. Because on my legendary chess video, I didn't include them. 
Um, and then somebody wrote in the comments that there were there were a couple of them, and I came here earlier today and they weren't here. So maybe maybe it is random. What I would be interested to hear what other people say. I know a lot of you have like farmed this place a lot. Well, anyway, well they're not here now, which is very strange. Fudging okay. fudgesicles. Indeed. So yes, let's get our fragments. It's a good place to come for fragments, the wine cellar, because all the mini bosses drop the fragment of power, and you can pick some up from this altar here. Uh, we've got some regular chests. Yeah, this is kind of weird, isn't it? Have some water. Mac and cheese is done. Oh, it smells, sounds so nice now. Happens to be the back keep. There's only person on the server for an hour or something's up with these chests at the moment. Is uh, mm hmm. So that's interesting as well because remember, um, we went up to the White Tiger at Crown Grove and we were having problems with the chest that's there because it wasn't there. I bet it's here, but it's I bet they're here, but I just can't see them or something. Well, they just haven't rendered properly or something. Um, there's a there's a White Tiger boss up at crown grove which i've marked here and there's a chest that spawns right here um that is still there it was there before chapter two and it's went before all the chests move into dungeons and it's still there now on chapter two um but we did have a problem with it not spawning in and we re-logged or restarted the well i don't think we restarted the server but i think we re-logged and then it was there so maybe that's what's happening here anyway we've established this this chest that may or may not be here <laughs> there you go Right, torch is gone. Let's use our backup. All right, people, onwards on the tour. We're going to turn left as, as we come out of here. Bum, 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 bum. Let's have a sip of water. Sweet. Okay, another boss. Uh, this is this is the pokey guy. Right, the pokey guy doesn't seem to hiss as hard. I don't know why. Maybe maybe because it's a pokey weapon. Maybe less armor pen. I don't know what it is. But he doesn't hit as hard. Look at that. Sit. So, so I find him the least scary of the mini bosses. See, he's not really scaring me at all. I do have steel feet, obviously. So he, he would have to hit me three times to kill me. But I have been like. I also do have a bit more, a bit more health than usual, do I? Hmm. I don't know, but generally he's he hits like slightly less hard. Get him, bud. There you go. Well done, mate. Quite often when I run here, through here, I don't even light the torches, but I'm kind of just doing it to demonstrate you can. Sometimes there's a piece of car. There you go, piece of curry steel here. It's not always there. Curry steel is like RNG, whether it spawns or not in the locations it can spawn and then we go through here through the mist hello sir nice okay looks like he duplicated then doesn't it this is just uh law there's a bunch of like little law books around which is kind of cool just kind of telling you the story just gonna keep going on the straight path. Okay, now we're coming up to the next mini boss. There's some little skellies around here. I'm gonna try and fight them before I fight the mini boss. It's a bit easier for the fight. They're not stunning my friendo. There you go. Just get their attention. He's like swinging before he even came out. Did you see that? He's like swinging at us before he even reached us. There we go. Heels, I'll take for my friend. There you go. I do love that they've started dropping like really good heels on this map. So cool. All right then. Mini boss time. Red light equals danger. I wouldn't go in there to fight him personally look at that it's got that aoe that you get from two-handed swords just honestly i have full respect for these guys a bit like i have respect a bit like the arena champion even though she's more scary no 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 
Don't get trapped. So because I have a bearer with a ridiculous amount of health, I don't have to be worried about him dying. If you come here with like a brute or something, um, or a berserker, you really need to keep an eye out. Keep an eye on them. He's also in very high armor value. He's got 1740 armor. There we go. Excellent. There you go. He's healing himself. Let's give him those. Excellent. This is the room that the boss was in. There's just a couple of skellies in here. There you go. Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 dum. Let's go. I watched the chest in the silver mine despawn as I approached them. They bagged out and then it, when I ran to loot the bags with just normal loot in them, no weapons. Same up happened here. Thank you for letting me know. I mean, I was, so I would have been, I would have, how do I say? I would have been questioning myself, but I literally came here earlier today just to double check where they were. Um, because there's some at the end of the dungeon, but there's a couple where that guy is. Sir, could you not stab me, please? I would like to super appreciate that. Alright, people. So, there is a boss through here. A spider boss. Who used to have a legendary chest next to him, but it's no longer there. Um, but there are still chests and decent loot. And a lot of spooders and gossamer. Uh, the spider will corrupt you a lot, the spider boss. Um, so I generally don't like to fight him myself, but we do have that heart of a hero, which is quite handy to have before the final boss fight, which we're going to, which is up there. There's a couple of chests. Uh, green dyes. Heels we'll put on our thrall. Frost lotus you can get from the Bridge of the Betrayer. Elixir of Sight is concussive damage. That's kind of a cool thing to get. I guess we'll take that and put it on our friend. Just putting all the food and the heals on him that isn't weak aloe, because I'm just going to keep weak aloe for myself. Um, what else can I get rid of? Okay. Spider. So yeah, you can harvest this gossamer with a sickle to get the most out of it, or you can just click on it to pick it up. If you, I have double harvesting on, so um, I get two when I click on it, but you will just get one if you just click E. So use a sickle to get the most. You can use a sickle on these spiders to get gossamer from them, which you can use to craft silk, uh, or you can use a hatchet to get ichor, or you can use a pick to get chitin. You'll get a mixture of things, but those are the ones to get the most out of each. Hello, corrupted spider. I hate you. This guy has a big AoE corruption attack, which I hate. It kind of drags you into it, which is annoying. So I generally just don't fight him, but because I've got a heart of a hero, and I want to show you. Look at that. See, I'm trying to pull away. I'm pressing S right now and unable to. Okay, I'm also trapped. Let's just murder him. There we go. Heal up. Get out our torch. And then we'll use... I'm going to use this to get Ico instead of Gossamer. And a skeleton key, which is the main prize, I guess. Okay. World bosses all drop the same kind of loot now. I don't need that. I don't need that. You can take the Ico. There you go. And there's some chests over here. One of these used to be a legendary. It's no longer. There's some treasure there. I'm not going to take it because I don't really care about it. Uh, bits and bobs. Nothing too exciting anymore. All right, people. Um, I'm in the wine cellar, Grasses. Hello, hello. Oh, Anna, today's Icarus's second birthday. Please don't set the birthday cake on fire. Ah, uh, like the... That's kind of funny, Neff, because uh, I was one of the games I started playing at the beginning of my streaming so that's kind of... I have some nostalgia about that. Um, like the item rebalance stuff they did, but I do feel they went too far the other way. Uh, for what do you mean, uh, Fighting Aya, in particular? Uh, Zed and a bunch of numbers and things. Hello, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. 
so many healing items in this dungeon, it's almost impossible to die. Um, yeah, I mean, I I wouldn't say it's impossible to die. I think there's, a, I mean, having heals available, if you come here with heals anyway. Um, if you're geared up, though, then it should be difficult to die. Apart from maybe the final fights, perhaps. Um, had chest gone in Black Keep, yeah. If you log out, you start back at the beginning of the dungeon too, right? Yes, you should do, yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, because you, your body won't re remain in these dungeons. Um, am I excited for, see for chapter three? I am, yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. I've done some streams on chapter three. I did a summary video of it on the YouTubes. I am excited. I'm most excited about the tavern more than anything else, I think. Because I like what that, you know, promises for the future. Uh, I really don't want to drop these, but I am kind of tempted to. Which may seem like sacrilege. Um, I'm going to use the pork f food here to fill my water. There we go. Onwards and upwards, people. Dum, 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 dum. This is a, I'm just going to show There's nothing here, but I'm just going to show you it's a great view of the dungeon from up here. It's kind of cool, right? Oh, I just pressed B. Nope. Instead of V. There we go. Just a cool view. Dum, da, dum, dum. Do, do, do. Where are you, buds? Hello? There you go. Some people coming out the ground. I do like all the atmospheric smoke in here. I wish it worked in the wine cellar. The atmospheric kind of smokiness or fog or whatever has been... It's not been working in the, white, the Warmaker for such a long time. Um, certainly, I don't know, since sorcery? Does anybody remember when it started happening? Kind of just shows you like a, like a patch on the ground where it's supposed to be. I don't know. So there is the final boss chamber, which is one of the more interesting and fun fights in the game, I would say. What do you think, people? We've got these friendos, and just before we go in there, we're going to eat our heart of a hero to clear our corruption. Over here, I probably have mentioned this every time, but at some point I wanted to get out of the dungeon because I was getting a purge back when purges were the old system. And I jumped down there with my friend. We were like, shall we, shall we like, shall we jump down so that we can kind of reset, get back to the beginning of the, <laughs> the beginning of the uh, thingy. And I hit myself, <laughs> you can see it. Um, you, can you see that? <laughs> I somehow I jumped and I fell on that and um yeah so I died and then I had to come back let me leave creative and had to drop down get my stuff and then jump down into the void because I couldn't climb back up again yeah so do be careful look before you leap is the is like you know the sagely advice right yes um tavern is gonna be so fun yeah we all want tavern yeah Tavern start is really exciting for what it'll open up. Exactly, definitely. Even the developers were giddy. They were so giddy, weren't they? Yeah. This is the wine cellar dungeon, Darth. Yep. Super nice. Yeah. That's it. All the hours I've never... Never done the wine cellar. It is a tough dungeon, definitely. That's it. True, true, true. I have done it many, many times. So the legendary chests are just on the other side of these gates. Um, there should be more chests. Uh, but uh, there they are. You can see them. But they didn't spawn in when I returned to the dungeon this afternoon, uh, this evening. So, yes, to start the fight, we have to light these fires by just clicking E on them. Now, normally, I put him on attack nothing. I think I'm going to do that now. Attack nothing. And then when the boss spawns in, I'm going to click E on him so that my thrall is only focused on the boss. Because there's going to be a lot of little ads that spawn in. Um, and I want to kind of keep, keep their attention. I just want him to stay focused on the boss. It's not too bad because he has almost 11,000 health. I don't have to worry about him dying here. Um, I have to just worry about myself, really. And just uh, if I can keep the attention of the little uh, skeletons, then um, it's better for him, really. And better for myself, just to kind of keep things controlled. Back in the day, a little while ago, the skeletons were under the ground here. 
And when the thrall kind of, when the fight started, even before the fight started, my, my thrall would be here looking at the ground, wanting to attack these creatures that hadn't quite come out the ground yet. Um, and that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Uh, but I still like to have him on attack nothing. So there you go. That's my kind of argument. I'm probably going to use a 200 weapon so that I can kind of like cleave if I need to and just kind of roll out the way. Um, he should be still buffed and everything. He's got so much heals on him right now. Uh, so let's get this fight started. The doors will lock when I've lit these and we'll be locked in here until the boss is dead or we are and we've teleported away back to our spawn place. So his flag, 25,000 health almost. So I've told him to attack. And in the meantime, we get a bit of help. So this is this is a phased fight. As he takes damage, there are different waves of fighting. When he gets down to a certain point, he will do a special, he'll, well, he'll summon some special things to happen. They'll also summon in some enemies. So the important thing for me is when all those extra things happen, that I am full health. Okay. He doesn't hit absurdly hard. It's okay. It's just the rest of the fight. It gets a bit crazy. I am the harder hitter of the two of me and my thrall here, but his job is to be my tank and not die. My job is to live. Right. Now, time to focus. My favourite thing to do is to run around, just keep running in a circle. So I'm already moving when this changes. It hurts, the ground hurts. You'll get thrown up in the air as well. And then when the enemies spawn in, the little skeletons that you'll see in a minute, one of the future waves, if you've taken damage from that, especially because you could get hit by more than one of those rings, Um, yeah, you can die, so be careful. Bum, bum, ba, dum. I think it's a great fight. Usually I don't even get... Well, I never used to even get involved in that fight. I would just avoid this floor stuff. Right, so he's summoned in his friends. I keep their attention. Shit. <laughs> Got crippled. That's not good. There you go. So can I get their attention? So that he doesn't... They don't interrupt my friendo. I've done this solo as well. In the Age of War. Just want them to follow me, really. Don't swear. Never. I swear. Never in my life, chat. Stop judging me. Okay, let's try and free him up. So maybe I shouldn't wear black armor for this. There you go. There you go, so you can focus on that. That also hurts. <laughs> Don't stand in it. Treat it like acid on the ground. So as long as he can do the fighting, you can probably, if you come here and you're not like comfortable, experienced fighting everybody, the thing to do really is just to avoid everything else. Because he's got so much health, he should still live. Da -dum, da -dum. That is a visual bug. Look at that. Just a named bearer. It's because the guy is like five times sundered. Right, ready for the floor thing. There was a time when I wouldn't have brought my horse in here. Okay, no floor thing. Yeah, there he is. There is. Okay. Okay. 
so many people. So you can fight them or you can just help him die. Where is my fighter? This is where a glowy torch would come in handy. Also getting knocked on the ground is suboptimal, isn't it? Bum, bum, bum. Right, just him and the boss. Let's keep ourselves full health. Nearly there. Come on, buddy. Go to sleep. There we go. And he's dead. Excellent. So this guy drops scrolls for Kari armor. Uh, there's the overseer armor and there's the... Thank you. Is it the raider armor? What is it called? Kari Overseer and Kari Raider and Soldier. So there's three types of armor that he drops uh, recipes for. And you can, it looks quite nice. I have put it on my thrall just for like decoration, my dancer. Um, I quite I quite like this armor. Um, let me just show you it. Show you the pieces. It's an epic armor that you can craft, but you've got to get the recipe for each of them, obviously. Um, he also drops uh, scrolls for, the, uh, for Kari weapons of these things he doesn't drop scrolls for the pristine ones those are legendaries you can pick up from the bosses so let's sort by name so the overseer armor gives you strength and stamina um, and stamina yep so strength and stamina from the braces helmet gives you strength and stamina chest piece gives you stamina um, feet give you strength and stamina a tacit gives you just stamina and they're light they don't really give you a huge amount of armor value any of them they're really just kind of decorative and like buffs um raider is carry capacity and agility in the braces chest piece is agility three percent um raider helm agility carry capacity raider sandals carry capacity and agility raider tacit agility soldier boots is health it's a medium armor uh, braces health, head health, chest stamina and health, and tacit stamina and health. There you go. And they look kind of nice. This is my preferred one, the overseer. I don't, I don't really wear the helmet. My boots are transmogged right now. There you go. That's what it looks like. They look kind of cool. You can dye it as well, obviously. Um, oh, it's all. Thank you for the prime. Welcome in. Good to have you here. Um, yeah, I really like this armor, especially when you dye it. I have it like this is what I'm wearing on the on our server at the moment. It's like uh, I dyed it black and white. You can dye the the gold bit silver and stuff. I don't know. Just like the look of it. Um, I'm not going to put all of them on. You can you can spawn them in in single player. Bum, bum, bum. Let's put our clothes back on. I'll show you these weapons. The nice thing about the weapons is obviously you can... Um, let me show my... There you go. Um, nice thing about the weapons is that you can craft them with a bladesmith so you can increase the damage. Daggers are 27 and 18 just spawned in. So with no thrall, I think. Um, the bow with no bow maker just uh, crafted in your carpenter's bench with no carpenter just 25 and 9 percent sword is 45 and 22 hammer is 41 and 45 pike is 36 damage 9 percent armor pen and there's a war axe which is 38 damage and no armor pen so there you go um at one point these were really 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 good if you craft them with a bladesmith i think the bow was better than the pristine bow um pristine bow is 29 and 9 that's a legendary this is 25 and 9. So probably we should try crafting this at some point just to see what we can get out of it with the blades or the with our bow guy. Bow guy. Because <laughs> we got a bow maker carpenter yesterday. It might be more than that. Um so there you go. Alright, there you go. 
Um, yes, so we learnt the Overseer armor. There's a, there's two more armors and some weapons to pick up. All right, he's just like I think he just drops some um, putrid meat and bone. Yeah, nothing exciting. You can keep it for sorcery if you want. You can put it in your compost heap if you want. Did I drop anything interesting? I wanted to keep. Nope. Okay. Um, and then these skellies drop good stuff these days, don't they? Just like um, just like skeletons in the unnamed city now have, to have good loot as well. All the skeletons have better loot. So this is our salted exquisite meat, which is our agility buffing food, which I'm going to leave because we've got some at home, but it's a good thing to pick up. You see just what they drop. Some heels, bits and bobs, mystery meat suit, which buffs your uh, health or heals. Take coin purses as well. I don't know what he needs cash for, but you know. Let's see. It used to be just like bits of steel and stuff, didn't it? Nothing too exciting. Alright then. So then the grand prize is these four legendary chests at the exit. So hopefully the, the chests were there when you visited the uh, boss at the altar that we went to earlier. Let me just eat some food. Hold on. Fill my water. Um, but yes, here we go. Four legendary chests. So we've got Ak Bitanan Blades. Complete RNG what spawns here. These have 3,600 durability, so their specialty is durability. Then we've got the Huntress Bow, which is an agility buffing buffing bow. Um, I don't like using this if I'm switching back and forth between a bow and um, a melee weapon because I like to be buffed at all times. Like earlier on in the game, if you get this and you don't have, you haven't crafted any elixirs of grace yet, then it's brilliant. Or if you're just gonna generally run it running around using the bow. But if you're gonna switch between the bow and your uh, melee weapon, you'll just lose your potion buff because it's, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I think that's a bug. Okay. So we've got L's Drinker, which is uh, strength, one-handed sword, which bleeds. Then we've got the Reaver's Axe, uh, which is a strength uh, one-handed axe with armor. There you go, health and armor pen. Somebody asked me yesterday on stream, is... Oh, there was one axe, and they mentioned an axe, and they said, is that the only one that has armor pen? And I said, no. Well, there's this one. There you go. There you go. This was 15% armor pen. All right, let's go, people. I don't know which axe it was they mentioned. Lemurian. Thank you, Keldrick. There you go. So, yeah, Reaver's Axe also does... Then just look at all those lovely badges next to your name. He was saving up for a birthday cake, but not anymore. Oh my, got his weapon last time I fought him. Did you? Oh, thank you for reminding me, Nails. So yes, a big a big thing that Thag drops is um, he drops legendary weapons. So he drops the Mace of Thag, Scythe of Thag and the Hammer of Thag. I really love the, the Hammer of Thag because it's gorgeous. Fortunately, I can show you out here. I used to love the Scythe of Thag. That used to be one of my favourite, like, weapons because it used to have, um, it used to have that spin to it. Let me just put creative mode on so I don't, I don't have a problem with, uh, what's the word? So I don't have a problem with, um, encumbrance. But this one was like a spin to win thing. You remember with the, the great axes, you would just um, click, right click, and you would spin like a freaking lawnmower slash meat grinder. It was so much fun. I wish they would bring it back. Um, but yeah, they changed the animation on the great axes because that's what this is. And I, I just find them kind of slow and boring now. So there's that. That does um, 90 damage and no armor pen. That is a lot of damage, isn't it? And it bleeds. Then there's the Hammer Thag, which will corrupt enemies in PvP, so just other players. 65 damage, 45% armor pen. And it's just this beautiful hammer. Which looks really cool. One of my favourite looking weapons in the game. Looks better in like a slightly darker environment. Um, because it kind of has that little like glow to it. There you go. And then there's the mace, which is super cool because it has a little like skull on it. And it's just a regular kind of mace. Um, and that one does six, uh, 45 damage, 25% armor pen. Nothing special about it. Just shield smash because it's a mace. There you go. So yeah, gorgeous weapons. Thank you for reminding me. I nearly forgot to mention the freaking weapons that he, he drops. And they are drops from Thag at the end of the dungeon. There you go. 
Lovely. Let me leave creative mode. Where's my friend? So because I put my thrall on a tackler thing, it's kind of useful for when I leave the dungeon. Where is my friend? He's down there. What are you doing, buddy? We could knock out that lone fisherman now that we're out here. Just sort your stuff out by weight. Okay, carry all these things. I'm going to put weapons on my th my horse. Um... Thrills are so funny in this game. Just sort by weight. Bum, bum. Um... Bum, 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 bum. Okay, just have to deal with being a bit heavy now. So let's go knock out um, our friend over here. What is that way? A bit. <coughs> Excuse me. If I open these, I can stack them on my friend. I don't know if I have a cold at the moment. I've been like coughing a bit. Hopefully I'm okay. Do, do, do. All right. I would like to put more things on him. I want to be able to put weapons on him. I just don't fully trust that he won't switch to them. Do you know what I mean? I could put my knives on him. Worst case scenario, he pulls those out. Um... Bum, bum, bum. Right, if I put that in his hand... Oh, I don't want you to use that, buddy. So, can I put... Because it's just running on the spot like a freaking lunatic. Dun, 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 dun. No! <laughs> Stop it! I hate this game. I don't. I love this game. It drives me crazy sometimes, though. Would you stop running? You look like a fool. Okay, he's got a weapon now. I could use the force truncheon feature of um, better thralls. I'm just not going to bother. I'm just going to knock this dude out. So I could use Seth's truncheon. I don't want to use it till I put an advanced blunted fitting on it. I could give it to my thrall and it won't lose durability. Uh, just, let's just get the job done, shall we? So normally I would say put up to the first perk in authority to knock people out in this game. But because we have uh, extra concussive damage... From this lovely Skelos Cultist uh, armor. 12% because we crafted it with a named um, armorer. We get 12% per piece. So we knock him out really well. We also have an advanced blunted uh, weapon fitting on that as well. God, I talk a lot. <sighs> okay, there you go. Let's grab the dude. So he's a he's just a named cook. He will put him in one of our cooking stations. We're in axe. Marine is crafted and repairable. Yes. That's true. Yep, yep, yep. Da, 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 da. We don't have a wheel here, do we? Which is kind of silly. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Um, what should we do, people? Do you know what I'm going to do? You're going to have to just, you know, take a deep breath if it upsets you. I'm just going to put a wheel down here. Because um, other, what I would normally do is I would take him home. But because I want to do the, wine, uh, the, the silver mine dungeon i'm not going to do that right now because i'm streaming so you're just going to have to take a deep breath if it upsets you um there you go lovely just to kind of keep things moving shit did i just lose my thought now he's here <laughs> God, can you imagine there you go sweet let's give him snacks we've got loads of food bum 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 what should we feed him? I don't know what he's going to eat of this, actually. We'll use that cooked pork thingy. There we go. Now we have a cook. Marvellous. Okay, so I can dump a bunch of stuff in here if I want to. Um, and we'll just connect, collect it on the way back. Let me give you this. Right, weapon heals. Snacks that you may or may not eat, but I can eat. Uh, what else do I want to give you? Healing potions. And that's about it, right? 
I love using wheels as just dumping places. Huntress, pristine bow. Um, I'm not going to take the truncheon. We want space as well because we're going to a silver mine. Dum, 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 dum. A bit of sorting out. That's good. I could use the bow, but I'm not going to. I don't need all this stuff. There we go. We want to be in this medium weight class. All right, perfect. Have I forgotten any, forget anything? I don't think so got my weapons i've got some heals i've got my aloe i've got a bear pack for extra weight if i need it everything is good i've got our pick okay let's go to the silver mine we'll come back for this guy she's cheating i know but cheating yes but spot but cheating um uh, feral ferret thank you for the follow all right let's go to the silver mine Okay, roll out. Uh, shall I mark that location? There we go. So I know I've got a wheel there. I keep, like, meaning to leave them. The thing is, it kind of interrupts, like, the adventure a little bit when we have to go all the way home with somebody if I don't just place a wheel there. Um... Shall we fight? Let's fight this guy while we're here. It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? This is one of the more scary world bosses, to, in my opinion. Um, because he does a burst damage attack, the rhino boss. There's a couple of them on the map. And he does this burst damage with his horn, which will stack bleed and really hurt you. So while we have Steel Feud, which is great against single hits from enemies that hit very 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 hard he will not protect us against that that burst attack right he does the same thing but he's like way less scary <laughs> doesn't hit as hard could you get out from underneath each other oh yeah my thrills on attack i think get in there buddy there go. No. Stand behind him. Don't get stuck in his horn. Getting stuck in rhino horns is like... It's like a rite of passage in this game, isn't it? Bum, 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 bum. It's a big old horn you got there, sir. Okay, let's wait for him to his, do his attack. There you go. Nice. Sweet. So we could harvest him with a uh, skinning knife to get um, rhino hide and thick hide. Um, and then he'd also drop um, exotic flesh. If you use a cleaver on it, you'll get the most. I'm just going to hit him for to get his skeleton key because I don't want to carry a bunch of stuff. It's kind of a crime to drop thick hide, but I'm doing it. I'm a criminal chat. Um, there used to be a box over there. I have to tell myself it's not there anymore. <laughs> used to be a legendary chest. Um, almost as good as getting stuck in at Rhino's, but yes, absolutely. It's like the Crocs, really. Um, but I think the for me, the Rhino is just a bit more scary. Yep, yep. So the silver mine is on the dungeon delver journey. Um, and it's on here before the war maker, right? Is it? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. Yeah, after the sunken city, silver mine, and then war maker, and then wine cellar. So it's kind of a good thing to do sort of together. Um, I did war maker first uh, quite early because I wanted to get the bulk plating recipe and the master weapon fitting recipe um 
but yeah, I'm just doing it in the order that I want to. But it is quite nice having that list of dungeons there available to kind of keep track of what I've done. Dum -dum. Let's kill these dudes. So, rock noses, as you know, depending on the area that they're in, they have different loot when you harvest them. And because these are silver dudes, yeah, they give us silver stone. I'm on two times harvesting. I'm using a star metal pickaxe with an advanced tool upgrade kit. So this is this is the kind of loot that I get. The silver around the outsides of here. Around the outside of the dungeon. You can use the silver to... Uh, you need to cook the silver in a smelter. And then you can make it into silver powder to turn it into alchemical base in your alchemist... Uh, in your fireball cauldron. Uh, or you can make silver coins or make silver bars and you can put it in your coffer if you want the value of that to help you contribute towards your purge. There's going to be a bunch of silver in the silver mine. It's a really good place to come for it. You could also make the coins and spend them at the market if you want to. If you need things like um, glass flasks uh, or you want to buy mystery meat soup, which is a health buffing item, you can buy those from the market. Or spiced fowl, which gives you a little bit of heating, a little bit of warming. Um, you could buy you could buy things like feathers and stuff, but and I don't bother with that. I just really just buy... Um, what is it called? Glass flasks, really. Um, engagement. Attack all enemies. Let's put him back on attack. I I went up against a rhino so traumatised to go near him for over a year. Yeah. He's quite scary. Definitely. There we go. So, silver on this dude. I'm never going to take chitin. I don't care about stone. I don't care about iron. Da -dum, do do do. Bum 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 bum. Da, 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 da. There's like bits of it dotted around outside. Bum, ba, da, da. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 I, we don't need to get every last bit, but there is some like, I think there's some right at the top as well. You don't really need to worry about the stuff outside too much because there's so much of it in the dungeon itself. Um, and if you want to get the biggest yield from any kind of um, resource in the game, um, then Efficient Harvest, uh, the second perk in Expertise, Final Hit when Harvesting grants twice as many resources is the one I would go for for things like silver. If you're hitting a silver node or, you know, brimstone, stone, iron, that kind of thing. If you want to get a rare resources, then go for careful harvest. If it's something that is like a byproduct or like a secondary item from harvesting something, um, I suggest that you think about if you're doing a bit of uh, harvesting, a lot of harvesting, that you go for beast of burden, which is the final perk. One of the two choices of the final perks of expertise. You will on the way receive hard worker, which will harvest resource nodes twice as fast as well. Being able to move at full speed when um, harvesting things means if you're in a dangerous area, you probably won't die because you can move out the way. Um, if you want to get the highest yield from tools, then obsidian tools and black blood tools give you the best um, yield. They both give you the same yield from harvesting. You can either put advanced tool upgrade kits on either of those items. Uh, black blood tools will not be repairable. Obsidian tools are repairable. You need to forge obsidian in the volcano or harvest or loot obsidian tools from volcano enemies and then put them in dismantling bench. Um, you can use an oil of bounty when you learn memory of oils from the archivist in the unnamed city, um, which is here on the map. Um, he will teach you memory of oils for five fragments of power. You, th you can then craft an oil of bounty in your um, alchemist bench. If you use a precision alchemist bench, I think it's like two fragments each per oil i can't remember it's about that but it depends on the the better bench the precision bench is the best um and on the black blood tools you get about eight and a half minutes with the oil of bounty so that's the only reason to use the black blood tools is that you get more time with your oil um which will give you the highest yield you can use it on obsidian tools as well but you'll only get i think about three minutes i do have a video about that on my youtube channel there you go that's a bit of a rundown you can also use cold resources as part of sorcery you just have to learn the spell which will allow you to cast a spell that will harvest resources in an area around you without using any tools. There you go. Bum, 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 bum. What's your preferred way of harvesting these days, peeps? 
Oh, nice to hear the sounds you make up piece and rising. Oh, bless you. But because uh, I'm humming, am I? Um, so there's a couple of bits of uh, silver outside here. If you get very close to the door, you'll just teleport in. So bear that in mind because it's a teleport into it kind of dungeon. Bum, 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 bum. I don't even know I'm humming half the time. It's just like a. It's just like happens. <laughs> I didn't even remember that I was humming a lot of the time until someone says something. It's like, yes. Uh, right, so Silver will go with my friend here. Um, they have chained dungeons um, for chapter two. So this chapter that we're currently in right now, chapter three is the one we're going into. And this one has had quite a few changes made to it. So it's a bit more interesting than it used to be. There's some new enemies in here. What craft are you using to make your pick hatchet? Does a bladesmith give you higher yields? I don't think so, no. You'll get more durability on your tool um, for... Uh, which is a, a good thing to do if you use a temper smith which is what we've got um but i don't think you get a better yields with a bladesmith no hello anger how you doing how goes it all right then people look out for enemies there's some can i just use yeah let's use my hammer did you get your tavern person anger eventually Bum, ba, da, dum. So there's now relic hunters in here, which is kind of fitting, isn't it? Considering it's a silver mine and they're kind of like dotted around in, you know, the unnamed city and stuff. It just makes sense. I'm really glad they made that decision. So you can throw all these people just like in the unnamed city uh, or in the wine cellar. You can just teleport out of here with them on the rope should you want to. I don't bother with them anymore, but you can do. Hang on, thank you for I the prime. Get one. Ah, oh, bless you. Thank you for the prime. It's very nice of you. So we're going to go right in here. Okay, we've got a mini boss. Cool. He didn't drop any armor, but he can drop his uh, armor pieces up to two. Salted exquisite meat is a really good drop. I'm just not going to pick it up because we've got some at home. There we go. We've got a little law book about this little place and a chest some coins in it i don't think there's anything else in here to get just some shelves all right onwards people it's not too dark you can do this place without a torch just because i'm streaming i generally like to have a torch out it's like this you see a bit of silver there already surprise mother hubbard I almost forgot myself. I mean, I don't know any swear words, people. Come on now. <laughs> oh, dear. <clears throat> anyway. Beautiful. Let's go. Bum, 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 ba, dum. There are a bunch of um, scorpions in this place. Good source of ichor. Anything from her? Nothing exciting. So here we go, silver. I'm. Um, I don't. I'm not going to like harvest every single node of silver. Um, there are some. Some of the nodes are actually iron. You, you you'll be able to see them when they're next to each other. Some people would take all the stone as well. I don't know why I drop it. I just do. Kind of just the way I am, really. Where is my friend? Could I stop clicking on? There you go. You carry this for me, sir. So, go so one of the really good things that's happened for chapter two is the loot has changed in this chapter and uh, this dungeon has a lot of chests in this ceiling kind of areas which we can climb to go and have a look at and it's really good loot there we go i'm gonna leave that stuff all around up there where the lights are Oh, finally, the, the light has, like, what's it called? The the fog or whatever has spawned in. So you can see the difference. There's the iron and there's the silver. And a great place to get loads of coal as well, which we're fine for. I don't need any. 
Dum 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 dum. Let's go. This is iron. Dun, 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 dun. There's a new boss down here, isn't there? Just at the end here, hiding in the smoke, fog, cloud, fog. What is it? If it's in a mist, if it's in a, if it's in a cave. Is that ash? Grey lotus. Sweet. Where is he? Is it like a brute kind of? Yeah, there he is. I think he's basically the brute, isn't he? I think he has a different drop though. Bum, 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 bum. Do, 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 do. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, Grey Lotus, can't leave that behind. Purple Lotus, I'll take that as well. Here we go. So this guy is new in chapter two with all the, the dungeon changes. He didn't used to be here. Kind of makes it a bit more interesting. There were just, was it just skeletons before? And then obviously the scorpions. Okay. So nothing exciting. You should give me a, a key though, right? Weathered skulls, bones, brimstone. No key. It doesn't drop a key. Does he just have a chance to drop some legendaries, peeps? Da -da. Hmm, interesting. Bum, bum, bum. This is iron. Um, you can't harvest these crystals, they're just decorative. They're just if for the effect. This is silver. Dum, 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 dum. There's treasure under the rocks, is there? Scorpion, yes. Scorpion's in here. I don't know how that slow fall is great for stopping you from face palming yourself in this area. What, when you're climbing? Yeah. Um, my preferred way of harvesting is reluctantly and complaining about it the whole time I'm doing it. My preferred way of harvesting... I have to be as efficient as possible. I want to get everything in one go. I have to have beast of burden. I don't want to be slowed down at all. Um, I hate that. I hate being over encumbered in any game. Um, yeah, and I just want to do it as soon as possible, really. And I want the most, the biggest yield possible as well. That's it. And then I don't want to have to do it for a while. Yep. Okay, we broke our torch again. I'm going to spawn them in so we can see what's happening. Yeah, either look away or just breathe deeply if you need to. Um, there we go. Sweet. So we can actually see what's going on. All right, should we do some climbing? There's a bit of a book here. Let's go, peeps. We did. We haven't had the bug, the darkness bug, for a while, have we? But I remember we came in here. I think in chapter one. We kept having a bug where it was absurdly dark. I think, Blakey, did you have it as well at some point? I know I had it in single player, but I also had it. Uh, I think people also had it on servers and stuff. Okay, we got some gold and silver ore. We got some crap we don't want. We got some silver coins. You can get um, climbing boots and gloves, uh, which you can just find in the in the world, or you can climb Fingerfang Rock to learn the recipes. There is both a regular kind of type and there's also a special type as well. Um, I don't care about this stuff. It's an empty box, people. Um, made a post on the forum. Still have it at times. You still get it. Oh, I just don't go in unless it's daytime. Yes, it does seem to better happen if you come into a dungeon at night, even though dungeons aren't supposed to be affected by the day-night cycle. Um, Labradome. Labradome, thank you for the prime. Welcome in. Thank you, thank you. Let's grab the silver. 
Bum, 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 bum. Okay, that's kind of crap. I don't really want steel fire. Definitely don't want that. Don't need demon blood, we've got so much of it. And dropping Ica whilst uh, crime is something I'm still going to do. Normally you can't climb in dungeons, but you can climb in here, obviously, in this area. They don't need to cheese bosses. Do, do, do. There's a few that just have old stool, old, uh, old stool in them. <laughs> old crap, old style or whatever crap in them. Um, like that uh, stone consolidant. I feel like that just hasn't been updated or something. I don't know. It seems weird um, that it's just kind of garbage. There we go. We've got a bit of gold, some hardened steel, which I would probably take usually. Some silver ore. All right. I give this to you, sir. Doing this with a horse following you around is probably not ideal, is it? Let's go to that one next, maybe. What do you think? Oh, oh, oh. It's not for the faint of heart, is it? Watch me fall and die. Um, uh, let's go here. I do have a bunch of stamina. I'm not corrupted. This is where a night potion would come in handy. I do have Argosian dream dust in my inventory, which I could use right now. You can also use this masks and things to see in the dark too. Kind of sounds like it's night time, doesn't it? This music. Can I drop safely? There we go. Um, Nelnatus, thank you for the prime. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, peeps. Um, right, where next? We could go there. We could go there. Where should we go next? Here. If I miss a box, I'm not going to cry about it. Do you know what I'm saying? Just kind of doing this. I think last time we came here, we just like flew about. Because I, I, sometimes I don't have the patience for things. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> bum, 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 bum. The crickets do... Okay, horse. This is suboptimal. Could you move? Sir, are you going to make me die here? I feel like you are. Is this where we... Can we mount the horse on this platform? Sir! Sir! <laughs> Could you please move? What if I stand over here? There you go, he's gone. Okay. Okay. I rebind my... Um, my detach from uh, climbing to shift... Uh, because that's kind of what it used to be, or it used to be affected by your shift key. So I do find that the easiest for, like, uh, detaching. The stone consolidant is not great, is it? Um, <laughs> please, please, please think about not bringing your horse with you. There's a box over there we could go to. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Totally calm. Not at all afraid. Okay, loads of loads of goodies. There's a bit of a prize for getting up this high. Okay, nice. I guess have we been I think we've been to that one. So maybe we go to this one on this other side. It's kind of fun little challenge, I suppose. We could get to that one. Uh, uh Okay. Garbage. Nothing helpful. Um, shall we drop down here? Oh, <laughs> I wasn't afraid at all. <laughs> it's a very agile horse. Yes, he's known amongst his friends for his agility. That's it. Oh, God. This is kind of worrying, isn't it? If I press S, just to, like, shimmy down here. That's it. Fortunately, my character has blonde hair, so you can actually see what's happening. Wait, can I, uh, can I, am I stuck? Am I stuck? I'm stuck! Crouch. Reverse. Sweet. Okay, prying kit. Perfected hardened steel sword. I mean, you could come into this dungeon and you could climb around here if you want to and, like, loot this stuff. But you can get most of this stuff. Things of this quality from, like, Sep and Rue now. Um, and then you can kind of kill a world boss with it and start, um, really, like, level up very quickly. Get yourself into a dungeon, loot some legendary chests. 
Okay, I think this might be the last one. Okay, really? What is this? This is old school. This is like pre-chapter two crap, isn't it? Disappointing. Come on now. I bothered to come all the way over here. I really want to yeet off. Shall I dive? Ah, oh, beautiful. Lovely. I stuck the landing and my bones didn't shatter by some incredible miracle. <laughs> but these chests, the chests were there. They just have been changed. They've just, the loot has been changed for chapter two. Yep, yep. They've always been here. I know because people used to say to me, like, please will you show where all the chests are um, in previous playthroughs. I'm going to open these just so I can, like, stack the coins because I feel like it. All right, I can, like, gather myself now after all that climbing. All right, onwards, people. Did I miss anything in here that anybody wants to say? Final thoughts. I'll take a sip of water. That dive in the brother of mist and went headfirst into the ground and died. Did you? Did you? Did you expect to survive it, Blaika? Were you? Were you surprised by it? All right. Through these little things, you can just pick up stones. The like I said, the crystal is just like decorative. Bum, ba, da, da, da. Sometimes I just like to roll. Dum 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 dum. Do, 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 do. You can do this dungeon, quote unquote, um, as early as you're comfortable killing a scorpion boss, really. Um, you could do that solo. Um, kind of any stage of the game, as long as you feel proficient in dodging um, and avoiding getting hit. Um, and once you know, like, the attacks. Um, I would probably avoid fighting a scorpion with really low level, like, thralls at all. Until you have like a thrall that, and you don't need like a 10,000 HP on, or 11,000 HP thrall, but you know, not with like, you know, somebody you get on the river. Um, I just wouldn't, wouldn't involve them in the fight unless you kind of don't like them. You know what I mean? And they probably won't participate in any future fights. All right. So in my mind, this is the dude. <laughs> um, this is just a world boss scorpion. And he has his like one two punch thing he also has a tail whip a tail like punch and he has like a, a swing round of his tail which will knock you down he will stack poison like he's doing on my thrall so i generally like to be behind him when i'm attacking there's a whip there you go Our thrall can take pretty much anything, though. He's in incredibly high armour. And uh, he has over 10,000 health. So. Right, so let's get our skeleton key from his friendo. He drops all the same stuff as world bosses. Hardened steel weapons, bits and bobs. Okay. Skeleton key, perfect. All right, a little bit more silver dotted around. And then there's his wife over there. Or... I don't know the nature of their relationship. Maybe it's his sister. Didn't ask. Bum, bum, bum. You won't get poisoned in this green stuff. It's just atmospheric. Bum, ba, da, da. More silver. Do, 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 do. Hello, sir. Um, I don't know why I thought... Was there something interesting over here? I don't think there is. Just silver. Yep. And then, here we go. So, scorpion disgustingness. Hi! How are you doing? The grand prize. Such an attractive lady. What are you doing after this? She got so much health. Look at that. Dun, 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 dun. I don't think I remember her having so much health compared to everybody else. But for a world boss, it is a lot, isn't it? Do, do, do. A legendary chest behind him. One there as well. So two there. Two there. Last time I looted them, they had like a bunch of other goodies in as well as legendaries. And one of them had like two two legendary weapons in it. Um 
don't know if they fix that. We'll test that today. This lady you can get scorpion eggs from. So if you want a scorpion pet, uh, you can get, um, what is it, venom glands. So you can use uh, to make poison to apply to your weapon. And behind her, back over there, there is a, tab a tablet you can click on, which gives you the recipe to craft those into venom for your uh, weapons. I don't generally use those things because um, you have to keep reapplying them. I just I just don't have the patience for that, really. Um, I think the, the spectre coating for like undead people in the unknown city and things is kind of cool. Um, there you go. So she drops this, what is it, scorpion ward which gives a lot of heat protection. So you could use that in the volcano to help you if you want to. Obviously, if you if you climb in the volcano, which you do need to do, um, you will unequip your uh, shield and it won't give you any benefits. But if you are the kind of person who likes to use a shield, this is perfect for the volcano. Plus it has um, a really high amount of durability. So there you go. It is kind of gross looking. Looks like a spooder. There you go. Or a beetle or something. Yuck. But yeah, it's, it's a handy one to have. I hate shields, personally. I don't like that I do less damage. So I think it's RNG if you get the eggs from her. There's the glands. She doesn't always give you those. Right. Well, they're not over those are regular chests and they get destroyed. They get destroyed during the fight. On the normal server? What, these here? This is just a normal server I'm using here. This is ch chapter two, normal server. They are normal. So they're normal chests, but they have legendaries in them. Um, let me give my keys to my friend here. Okay, I don't have any legendary keys. Yeah, I need a key to open it. Yeah, so they're kind of quote unquote, they have like normal stuff in, but they also have legendaries. Yeah, so this is like normal. Look at that dragon powder. That is so expensive to craft. I love that. We've got a legendary shield. It's weird that the This is kind of buggy, isn't it? I think this is a bug, to be honest. I think they're like... I don't know. Just a suspicion. Um, then we've got Blade of the Adventure. That's my agility two-handed sword that I've been using here. Which is 79 damage, 27% armor pen with a master weapon fitting or without 74 and 15. It's not my favorite. Baltier's Razor is my favorite because it does more damage in armor pen and uh, it weighs nothing. It's like 0.1. I haven't got that yet on this playthrough. Uh, but I do have a lot of keys. I could just go around and loot chests. Then we got the Grim, which is bleed with this escalating debuff. And it's a agility dagger. Yeah, weird, isn't it? I don't think this is functioning as intended. So yeah, she hasn't she hasn't given us those eggs. I mean, I don't want them anyway, but... Let me just... Uh, get the information. What's this? A scare. There's a bunch of these, like, debuffs that they've added. Um, causes the weapon to have a special damage multiplier applied to each hit okay so escalating is a special damage multiplier added to each hit each hit multiplier starts at 0.1 and increases by plus 0.1 every hit up to a maximum of 2.0 after 19 hits so okay so if you keep add, if you keep using them um you'll get a two times damage multiplier that's kind of cool isn't it i like that Oops. okay let's click on the tablets there we go so we've learned scorpion queen venom which means we'll be able to craft this gland into uh, the venom which you can apply to your weapon there you go anybody else gonna need to say before we leave here gotta do stuff have a great stream all right lovely thanks for being here dg thank you for the follow you've probably seen um ah uh, freezer 12 months thank you lovely welcome back thank you for 12 months enjoy your 12 month badge hope you're doing well um i've probably seen 0.01 percent of the game at this point really you haven't played at all, really. Um, never been down here. You've never been to this this silver mine? Do you know when I did my... Which playthrough was it? Hmm. Maybe... I don't remember. Maybe one of my Age of War playthroughs. Maybe like chapter one. I remember somebody saying I had no idea there was a silver mine in this game. <laughs> Brilliant place for mining iron or coal and silver. Absolutely, yes, Romulus. 
definitely. You go further down. I was just thought it went in there for silver and headed out again. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I want to jump off. Normally I survive that jump. Do you? Really? Um, you could use slow falling. All right then, people. Let's get out of here. Sweet. Well, we need a shield, right? So maybe we look for a shield right now. I will drop stuff off in our in our little wheel near Seppin' Maru. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Let's drop everything off in that little wheel and we can look around for a shield right around Seppin' Maru. Maybe we'll go to a couple of other NPC camps as well. Um, because... We've got a scout right, which is great, but it's not what I want, really. It's not the final prize. Dum, 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 dum. Da, 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 da. We could fight the rhino boss again if we wanted to. But we've got, already got so many keys we haven't used. Da, da, da. The only thing about the dungeons, I guess... So I don't think it's kind of too tough having the legendary chests in dungeons but you pass chests so frequently don't you um and so you would just constantly be like oh i'm passing this chest let me just get um let me just get my legendary weapons now you gotta like make the effort to go to the end of the dungeon um so what i would probably do i did mention this on my chests video um is on youtube is I would just run to the end of the Warmaker dungeon because you could do that now that we have once you have all the keys, you just literally run right through that place. Um, Sir, so could you naff off, please? Just dump everything in here. Okay. Maybe we do that next. Maybe we just gather loads of weapons because I would like to get Baltia's razor. Do we just run through dungeons today? Um, I'm glad I've got a spare Blade of the Adventurer. That's kind of cool. There are fireworks going off here again, you know. I'm going to drop this Venom stuff because I don't care about it. Dragon Powder is... Oh, I'm such a good bit of loot. It's expensive to craft. You use that for crafting explosive arrows and various bits and bobs. Um, you also need it to make Godbreaker armor, right? If I remember correctly. Okay, let me give you back some things. Um, okay, momentum, heels, snackies. Um, what else? Buff, um, heels. I don't care about cash. That can go in our, in here. Just gotta keep our weight down. Silver. Okay, now we're down in this medium weight class again. Uh, we definitely want our truncheons. And we definitely want our chain bindings. Um, I still have my buff for another eight minutes. I'm going to have to drink eat that in a minute. Let me eat this um, cooked pork thing because that will fill my water. And my food, you can hold those. And All right, let me put you on attack nothing. Baby head engagement, attack nothing. Okay, let's go see if we can find a shield right. Bum ba dum bum. Do do do. Do 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 do. What is like the number one crafter that you always go for, people, on your playthrough? Is it a shield right? Or a bladesmith or. Dum da dum dum. I also really always want a taskmaster like tier three so I can make chain bindings. Um, haven't We haven't done sorcery yet. I don't know when I'm going to do a sorcery episode soon i guess okay these are always blacksmiths as you know this is always an armorer i should kill this person because i'm on a server and if i kill them they'll respawn whereas on single player i just have to run away so you're not on the list of the people to kill today dum, dum, dum. So, nobody down here is triggered. Okay. Blacksmiths. We don't have a bladesmith. We have a temper smith. Um, which is the... Bladesmith is the guy that uh, adds damage 
uh, to your weapons that you craft in your blacksmith bench. Um, I don't really care about that too much because I've been enjoying my legendaries. Um, so let's just check the spawn points where the armorers can spawn. Tier 3. Yes, tier 3. Yes, tier 3 alchemist, definitely. That's a good one. I kind of miss needing the witch doctor and things like that. I have mixed feelings about armorers. You know, like, I would spend so much time at Sepamaru trying to get, like, Gam of the Worn and Zoara of the Marshes and people so I could make... And then freaking... Uh, what's his name? Girl leg biter so I could get the um, Hyperborean slaver armor. Like, so that you can make the epic flawless version of it. I don't miss the girl leg biter days where I couldn't... I had, like, people on the server trying to get me that person because I wanted to wear Hyperborean slaver. Um, but I kind of, I don't know. I feel like a lot of the gameplay is gone um, that used to be. I feel like the, uh, the specific armourers was probably a bit too grindy for the average player and was a bit frustrating. Every time I started a new server, um, I'd have to kind of come to Sepamaru and really just stake this place out. Um, but like getting the witch doctor so that you could make black and white die, I, I miss that. I don't see why that's... I kind of would like that to return. That'd be kind of cool. Um... Because it made them kind of more interesting and special. And black and white dye is not essential. It's just kind of like a fun thing. It's a special goal in the game. It's, got, it's not fun. Yeah. Guaranteed name cook on that island. I know. We picked one up earlier, Danish. Yep. Today. We've got one in our wheel. Got some tier four from the set, but blue symbols. Always confuse me. That's because they have sub-professions now. Um, you can look them up on the wiki, um, but ar armourers, there are, they're separated into shield rights, scout rights, um, and temper, temper rights. Shield right, they have the shield symbol. That means they give you extra armour value. Scout right reduces the weight of your armour, and the temper right increases the durability. They also, if you put the uh, temper right into a tinkerer's bench, they can craft you grandmaster armor repair kits um and then blacksmiths are you on attack everything no behavior age one attack nothing um and then blacksmiths you have uh bladesmith which adds extra damage uh tempersmith which adds durability and can craft grandmaster weapon repair kits in the tinkerer's bench and then what am i missing uh, there's also one that adds uh penetration to your weapons as well armor pen I think I've, I don't think I've forgotten anything. Ooh, a driver. So we already have two Taskmasters, two named Taskmasters. We have Gothrad the Oathbreaker that we got, which is a guaranteed spawn in Mans of the Dead from the Ravaged Barrows, which is like here. Yes, this little nub here. This is where Gothrad spawns. This is where I always get my named Taskmaster every playthrough. We also got um, one from a, a, an Azura person from Sinner's Refuge down here. This is a really good place to get a Taskmaster as well. And a bunch of crafters. Really good place. Um, so we don't need this guy. So I'm just going to modify him. Bum, ba -da -dum. Doo -doo. I don't think it's usually a carpenter in that place. Um, that look, spawn there is a random spawn. Completely random. I did think that those two were like carpenters always, so I guess I was wrong. It is kind of weird that he was there. I don't know if I've ever seen a taskmaster there before. Hmm. Shield right, what I need. Yes, yeah, shield. So, so the best ones for me are... Certainly in like from in chapter two, Age of War, shield right for your armor, um, and then uh, bladesmith for uh, your your blacksmith. Um, those are the two that I really like and care about. Really, um, I no longer care about repair kits. Otherwise, it used to be temper smith, temper right that I cared about because they would make legendary weapon and armor repair kits. They now make Grandmaster ones. They don't repair legendaries. And if you use repair kits on your weapons and armor, there's a chance that you'll lose durability on them. So I just don't use them at all. I actually don't even pick them up anymore. Um, so yeah, they used to be like... You used to have to um, thrall purge blacksmiths and purge armorers to get those in the past. 
This is always a, a, a smelter and a tanner. Da, 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 da. We do have our lotus orbs with us. If we wanted to get an alchemist from here, we could just chuck them on the ground. It's always a dancer. This is a random friendo. This is currently a blacksmith. It's always like a fighter or an archer next to them. This is always a taskmaster over here. There's a roaming spawn, which is like a rando here. It's currently a cook. These guys are always fighters on these like little lookout posts. Quite easy to get early game if you want to practice using a truncheon. There's a rando under the tree, currently a dancer. This is the only, I always show you this every time we come through because I know some people aren't here. This is really the only vendor that I care about. If, I, if I'm if i making a lot of uh, dyes or things uh, or potions and things like that, then um, I get class flasks from this guy. Sometimes I overdo it. <laughs> You just use your, you can use your silver to purchase that. Otherwise, the mystery meat uh, soup person is Hannah. There you go. This gives you 60 health if you use that. Everybody else is kind of boring. Da -da -da. Always a dancer, and this is a random spawn. Do -do -do. Let's have a look in the. Oh, dude! <laughs> Seriously, could you leave me alone? Let's have a look in the prison to see if we see a taskmaster. I like this place because there's uh, there can be female Taskmasters, which is kind of nice to see. There was a long time when I thought there were no female Taskmasters in the game. I was kind of irate about it. I mean, um, Paragon Bench is preferable, yes, or in your inventory. If you can if you can craft it, then you can repair it in your inventory as long as you have the mats. Uh, if it's something that, like say, steel um, bind uh, chain bindings, um, that only the tier three or above. Um, uh, taskmaster can craft they have to repair it in the torturous workbench otherwise yes repair it in your inventory or in a in a repair bench there you go Oof. um yeah you can repair them with a the grindstone but you can lose durability so i just don't i just don't use them um we don't need this guy splat yeah exactly um Yep, yep. There are other symbols for like other people, like taskmasters and things. Some people will improve um, the concussive damage from your torpidity weapon, um, things like that. But you can look those. But really, the armor and the blacksmith are the important ones to me. Sorcery bench can no longer make pouches. Did they remove that, or is that is my save bugged? I haven't done any sorcery yet on this playthrough. Does anybody know if pouches are bugged on thaumaturgy benches? Hope they will add a way to bring hero treasure easier without teleportation or walking. It would be really nice if they gave us carts, wouldn't it? What would you like, people? Carts or if we could kind of attach it to our horses or if our thralls could carry it. Yeah, I would suspect that they'd be adding something like that in the future. Definitely. thought Seven Ruben Sinkhole was bugged just now. In what way was it bugged, uh, Sanborn? Carts or elephants, yeah. Or on your camel, maybe. Pouches are made in the alchemy bench, I thought. There you go. Alchemy bench. So you're saying it's bugged in your alchemy bench? Saddlebags would be cool, yeah. You get a fatal crash. Is it because of a, of a uh, an event, Sanborn? Um, because there was a problem with... Um, what's it called? There was a problem with uh, events crashing servers, basically. So they have turned off events a bunch of times. This is a random spawn. This is a random spawn. I would assume it's to do with that. I've already capped. I've already capped my sorcery. What do you mean you've capped it? You've finished it. Let's go and check this armor spawn point over here. Um, because we're looking for one. There's also an armor spawn point there. Um, and there's, an, there's like a couple over there. So maybe we just check some armor spawn points. Because um, we're looking for a shield, right? Um, not sure, but it was a Funcom base game issue. Yeah, it, it it's probably... If it was at Sepamaru, it's probably to do with a an event. Or it was just like a random fatal crash. I haven't had any fatal crashes, touch wood, like today. There's the driver. Yes, yeah, sometimes that person right there is a taskmaster last time i think last time we came through here there was a taskmaster there i didn't get them because i like flew over and then i felt cheaty so i didn't grab him but that person with the this hairdo here this is always a tier three armorer but it can be a named armorer and it can be any named armorer from the relic hunters 
and there's a bunch of good ones. My thrall is on. Is he on attack? Nothing. Yeah, I think he is. Da -da -da -dum -da -dum. So yeah, it's worth uh, killing these guys so that they respawn. Let's go check the other guy. My horse and my thrall are like working against me right now. <laughs> Um, hate night. I have night time on super fast because I don't mind it when I'm just playing normally. I like that the I feel the like I feel the day is changing and stuff like that. But when I'm streaming, I don't like the game to be dark. Um, I hate it when I go into dungeon and the game is dark. I'm very conscious of that. Yeah, might be building my base on the eastern portion of that rock face. Do you? Um, I always used to love building uh, opposite the West Wall prison, like right here. Um, whereabouts? Here was it? I don't remember. Opposite the Westwall Prison, basically, just because there were always human-only purges, guaranteed human purges, back when purges were the way they used to be. Good evening. Has it been a good night? Um, for me? What do you mean? For me, yes. Not in game. Can't look. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. I haven't done any yeah, I haven't done any sorcery yet. We will um we haven't even learnt it yet. There's the tier three armor that can be a named person. This used to be my favourite place to get a tier three armor at the beginning of the game. I can see my buffs have ended. Let's re eat the uh salted exquisite meat and our elixir of grace as well. Um, is he still buffed? He's not buffed anymore. Let's feed him one of those. I left the pork behind. Oh well. Never mind. These are his guards. The amount of times I would stand on this rock up there and back when uh, Torpidity didn't reset when these characters like reset their aggression um, I would kind of jump down, hit the armor a couple of times, climb back up. They would like reset, and then I would climb back down again. I'd do it a few times, and I'd grab him on the rope and like yeet off into the distance. Yep, that was my thing. Um, okay, so let's go check the spawn points over here as well, just because there can be a tier three armor. Well, there is always a tier three armor who can be named. May as well. We could fight the bug boss while we're here as well. Um. This is a nice place to live up here. I think there's a lot of places on the map that I would build now that I would never build before because you would only get like bug raids. I mean, sometimes you would, um, sometimes you get humans, but generally it was bugs or there was a high chance you would get bugs. Um, there's a boss. Let's go fight her. Get a skeleton key. Hello, critters. Good source of ichor from these guys. Put you on attack everything. Behaviour, engagement, attack on enemies. Let's get some ichor while we're here. So we need ichor for uh, making our chemical base. So we're going to just grab a bit of that while we can. Sometimes I drop it because I can't be bothered. You can use these um, Reaper toxin glands to make uh, debuffs as well for your weapons. I don't generally bother with that, like I mentioned before, because I just don't like to have to reapply it. I do like venom-infused weapons, like the venom-infused daggers, venom-infused sword and axe that you can learn from the Library of Esoteric Artifacts in the City. Um, and I really like the festering one axe from the Unnamed City as well. The only thing is... The durability goes so quickly um, on an axe because you hit so many times with it and it isn't a particularly high drop rate. I think it's a bit easier to get now because um, bosses drop a legendary pretty much every time. Most of the bosses in the Under City now do anyway. Um, let's get our skeleton key. There you go. Um, but still, and I, also I don't run a strength build anymore and it's a strength weapon. Best string one X. So, but yeah, if I want to do uh, poison, then that's that's what I tend to go for. Latios, thank you for the follow. 
uh, U19. Thank you for the follow. Um, love the mask curl spell. Three minutes break. It should be a two minute break, actually. It should be two two minute breaks an hour, um, which is almost as minimal as possible. But so you don't have like a full three minutes. Fixed crashing events. As far as I know, they got enough feedback on the specific events that crash people. Done a number of them now in Submarine and never seen the mask without crashing. I'm really glad to, to hear that. That was what I heard. Um, and I think that they were awful problems as well because they were causing people to kind of keep crashing every time they spawned back in, weren't they? Um, but I think the problem was uh, events. I think they changed how frequently the events happened or something like that in order to fix it. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I love like the ambiance in this area. Do you know what I mean? Ambiance. Should we pick up some bebers? So this is where you get uh what are they? Jaguars. Jaguar children. They will run away. Can I get my friend to kill them? No! No! Please don't hit it. Please don't hit it. The amount of times in my life I've spent chasing after these critters. Come here, baby. Come here. <laughs> I just want to be friends. Come on. Come on. Come on. On single player, there's no... There's no lag. There you go. There's no lag, and so it's a lot easier to pick up um, these little things, like tigers and stuff. Yeah, but on a on a server, the amount of times I've like I've clicked on them, and sometimes your thrall will like aggro to it. Can you not? The other one on the horse. Horse is completely unfazed. It's like the most tanky creature ever. I'm gonna drop this stuff because I'm not gonna use it. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. So have we done all the dungeons? I think we have, right? Um uh, I think so, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Excellent. Getting through the people the content. <laughs> Reaper bow isn't the only poison you can fight to weapons. No, you can use the one from, um, you can use a scorpion one as well. Need to finish the rogue journey and I'll have a snake venom glands. So Work for acquired poison, but it won't apply to my weapons. Do you have any, um, any mods running, Wraith? Um, I, I, has anybody else had that problem? Have you logged out and logged back in again? Just the you, just Hosav's UI. Hmm. Hogwarts, yeah. <laughs> Hogwarts, yeah. Hogwarts UI, yeah. Hossav's UI mod, yeah. You did relog, yeah. I don't know. Choir poison. It won't apply to my weapons. Um, yeah, so we just went into the silver mine and you can get um, glands from... Uh, you can get glands from the scorpion queen in there and you can apply that. You have to craft the poison from the glands. Because you have snake venom glands. Yeah, so have you cra Oh, I see you- Oh, I see. So you just have the gland, you didn't craft the poison. Is that what you mean? Um, there's no- there's no uh, drops command, but uh, there should be a drop down at the top of the- Yeah, so if you try to apply the- the gland itself... Um... Hopefully it does it on this one. So if you've crafted, you have to craft. Uh, so from the silver mine, you can click on a tablet and learn the recipe for the scorpion queen poison. And then you can drag it onto a weapon and apply it. And then it will apply damage with every hit. And it has like a durability to it and it'll run out. Um, but if you've just got the glands themselves, you can't apply that to a weapon. 
We'll do that. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And there's also Reaper poison that you can craft as well. There you go. Thank you for that. Uh, um, thank you, Kelljerk, for identifying what that was. Hello, Fatal. Hello, hello. Don't do it. Makes you eat it. It makes you eat it. Oh, eating the. Oh, yeah, eating the poison. Yeah, I've never done. I probably have done that at some point. Where are my friends? Hello. Have we got that problem we had in the? No, it's not saying fail to. Are they invisible? Though there's the horse. What is happening? Okay, he's here. There he is over there. I don't know what they were doing. They were having a little meeting, weren't they? <laughs> oh, he tried to use the gland. And he ate it as a use. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. I see. There you go. Psst, problem solved. Community solving issues. So there's the other spawn point for a tier 3 armourer. It looks like a tier 3 armourer again. He just always has the same hairdo. It's always a dude. And he has like... What do you call it? Braids? It's like a braided ponytail kind of thing. Um, so yeah, but it can be a named armourer. Just isn't this time. But it's a guaranteed tier 3 spawn. Um, he is quite heavily guarded. They're kind of a pain in the butt early on in the game. But it's a, it's a decent place to guarantee a tier 3. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum. You stop bleeding, my friend. Thank you very much. I shall steal your coins. So there are more um, relic hunter people up there, but they don't have a tier three dude by them. Uh, lasting feast will give us to our friend for snackies. Why not? Da, 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 I think that's all the tier threes in this area. We'll run back into Sep, see if we can see a tier three. I guess, um, sorry, a shield right and then i guess we'll go where should we go next to look for crafting thralls we could go to um go to sinner's refuge maybe forming a union yeah maybe they're forming a union dun 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 we'll have we'll have no collective bargaining in this in this playthrough <laughs> uh person who could not make the pouches and thomas eventually making the outcomes but not yeah somebody said that Somebody pointed that out. Dun, da, 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 da. Doo, doo, doo. Can't wait to build in the, the north on the next playthrough. We could do it on this one, but I'm kind of excited about the new build pieces coming out. Did you see them on the dev stream? Kind of itching to build something. Uh, we could... <coughs> excuse me. We could fight Rot Branch. I don't have a Sandstorm mask with me. I don't think my friends have one. No. I don't think he's got mine either. No. Shall we shall we do the run through the warmaker that I yeah. Should we run through it and just go collect weapons at the end? Let's just yeet through it because we've got our keys. Cuz I've got loads of wep uh, loads of um got loads of keys and no and not enough weapons god i can't speak now this is it because my brain has stopped working yes i've got loads of skeleton keys and uh there's loads of boxes at the end of this place so let's just yeet through it i might actually put my thrall on attack nothing i don't even i don't even need to worry about that though we're gonna run past everybody including the arena champion let's just do like a speed run Hello, Keena. Hello, hello. What new build pieces? Yeah, new build pieces on the dev stream. Um, you can see them on my summary video if you want to. You can watch the whole dev stream on the YouTube channel that's up there. Or you could watch my summary video and that kind of shows a little kind of sneak peek of the stuff that they've... Uh, that's coming in Chapter 3. Da -dum -dum -dum. So this blue boss here will follow you through this dungeon to the mini bosses. He won't go any further than the mini bosses, I don't think. But he's a pain in the butt. I never used to fight him. I used to ignore him. And now he will follow you into the mini boss rooms. But because we have all the keys we need, we're just going to literally run all the way through this dungeon. 
because there's loads of chests at the end. Six chests at the end. Going to avoid the traps. As much fun as it is to jump on them and trigger them. Just going to avoid them. A, 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 what is it called? A, a torch is kind of handy in this dungeon, just if you're like not sure where the traps are. Walk over these little stones. There's the arena champion. Uh, we could just, actually, the thing to do would be to just crouch through here, actually. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do this, just yeet through. Just crouch through this little crack. There you go. And then run all the way to the end. You can run to where the warmaker is and you don't even need to fight him. We're gonna get, uh, people will try to attack us on our way through here. But we're just going to ignore them, including the spiders that cripple us with poison. He's frustrated at being ignored. Nothing. What happened? What happened? How are you doing today? Good, thank you. I think I might be getting a cold, but otherwise I'm alright. Is it worth it to do a very low level purge? Uh, it is because you can get, you know, treasure and things from it. In chapter three, um, from level one, uh, you will be able to get barkeepers from a level one purge. So there's a definitely a reason to do them, If you, even if you're not that interested in the rewards, um, you know. So from chapter, from level one currently, you can get that armor if you like it, that you get from purges. You can get bits and bobs, only iron level kind of like tools and things like that. Um, there's a warmaker. we can just ignore him completely. I'll try and, if, without changing my thralls aggro, I'm gonna see if I can just get him to look to not fight him. Let me put you on attack nothing. Maybe engagement attack nothing. So hopefully he just avoids that guy. Right, here's the tablets and here's the here's the chests, the six chests. So this is what I recommend for like level 60s because you if once you've done this dungeon, you can just run through here. Right, daggers of nameless days which you've already got today. Played the adventurer, another one. I'm after, I'm looking for Baltia's razor, watchblade. Uh, this one glows now. It didn't used to glow. It gave it a special ability. It was quite a boring one before. It's a oh no, I got excited. It's a yeah, it's a strength weapon. If that was agility, and it glowed, I would be like, maybe I would sob a little bit of happiness. <laughs> Fourteen thousand. 400 durability chat that is ridiculous look at it that is like absurdly high durability that is crazy this is a change in chapter two um i like that they've added, added glow because it was always a boring weapon wasn't it i mean it does 74 22 um so it's basically comparable to the blade of the adventurer but it's a strength weapon and it glows now super cool durability is amazing okay cool getting distractified okay so those those ones are there and we've got another reaver's axe which is that um uh, axe that does have some armor pen out the gate Arja's bane a very very good mace for your thrall um if you don't have momentum yet and then i would switch to momentum but this does the last 10 percent um on final hit wait it does the final 10% of an enemy's health in one hit. There you go. Which is only really good for bosses. And then... Ah, oh, yes! Hallelujah. We got Baltier's Razor. There you go. Somebody said to me that these are, like, almost impossible to get. It is... It's never been my experience. It, I always get what I want from these boxes. Like, if you just, you know... There you go. Baltier's Razor. This is my favourite two-handed weapon because it's agility. Oh, fantastic. Um, Aetherius, thank you for the prime. Welcome in. Thank you, thank you. Um, if anyone here isn't in the Discord, by the way, I haven't mentioned for a while, there's a link in the chat. Do come join us. You don't have to be a sub. I just like to mention when someone subs, resubs, or gifts. Um, if you want to join our Code Excel server, you're welcome to do so too. Just go to the Code Excel channel, look, to the, look at the pinned messages in the Code channel, and you'll find joining instructions. Um, yeah, super happy about that. So... Um, is it kind of the same as Blade of the Adventurer, but has it basically weighs nothing, which is one of the reasons I really like it. Let me just compare. Um, 
So Blade the Adventurer is 74 and 15. 75 and 23. Yeah, so more armor pen. Yeah. And tiny bit more damage. But yeah, it weighs nothing. So I try with agility to keep my weight into this like yellow section, which is medium weight. Um, medium encumbrance. And that means I can take advantage of precision strike which gives me 10% additional on the pen while carrying a medium or lighter load. Oh, that's a lot of talking today. Okay, awesome source. I'm so pleased we got that. That's so good. Um, I clicked on these tablets before, but these will teach you the very, very important bulk plating, which adds armor to your thralls and what I'm using on my armor at the moment. Um, and also master weapon fitting. So make sure you click on those tablets, but we're just yeeting through here today. Um, Misha, thank you for the... Thank you for the prime as well. So many primes today. Thank you, everybody. Just discovered your YouTube channel, like your content. Thank you very much. Good to have you here. Welcome, new peeps. Bum, 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 bum. Right, we're looking for crafters now. Oh, because we're kind of, kind of short on the old crafter situations. Particularly, I'm looking for a shield, right? Um, and then I will use a re armor reduction kit on my armor. Do 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 do. We could just run around dungeons and loot, like, weapons, I guess. I could deal with a spare Belshius razor now that I've got one. Bum, 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 bum. But when you see me doing purges and things like that, this is what I'm using. Um, I just really like it. It goes up to, like, 80-something once I put a master weapon fitting on it. Damage. I'm watching a lot of YouTube videos very helpful. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm really glad it's helpful. I'm very passionate about this game. I've been playing it for a long time. Hello, Film Jock. Quick question. Will the new patch updates that nerfs Cannibal Brief down out to the grip? Yes. The cannibals are being nerfed. Yes. Ah, oh, we hope you have Florida. Thank you very much. Happy holidays to you too. Yes, the cannibals are getting nerfed. I I will make a video. But yeah, they're both equally awful now. Or will be in Chapter 3. Okay. Because they're the same through all, they just have different names. Um, shall we collect our stuff, take it back, and then loot some chests? Mayhaps. Let's do it. Let's go back to our... Uh, what is it called? Wheel. This is... Which is the quickest way? Squirrel. This way. Let's go this way. I can be decisive. Shield right. Yes, we need a shield right, definitely. No problem, you're welcome. Dum, 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 dum. Doo, doo. It is absolutely freezing here at the moment in the UK. I'm very glad the heating is working as intended. <laughs> It'd be absolutely horrible otherwise. I've had some really cold weather, like last winter was so freaking cold. I hope everybody's keeping warm. What are you, sir? Here, one. Not interested. Sorry, I apologise. Wasn't me, it was the horse. The horse is like, don't blame me. There's the wheel. I think I always put my wheel here. Just because it's like slightly out of the way, but it's accessible. And it's on the way out, I guess. Let's cl clear all this stuff. Right, let's consolidate resources, people. And sort by weight. Uh, right, you can have anything that isn't a weapon. Um, let me give you your snacks and your momentum mace. Which I have lost the ability to see. There it is. Okay, I've got so many weapons. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. We could also collect stuff later, but... Um, and then the rest of this, I guess we could put on the horse. Take that back. Um, what am I going to do? I could use my emergency, what is it called? Bearer pack. If you craft this with a named uh, armourer, you'll get 51 carry capacity with it and a little bit more armor value, but you're not wearing this for armor value, are you? 
um, straight out. If you just get it from um, a bearer that you, uh, what is it called? A bearer that you thrall, it gives you like 40 something, I think. Um, yeah, it gives you 45, but if you craft one, it gives you 51. Because crafting it with a shield right, uh, what is it, not a shield right, a scout right, means it has less, it has less weight. And then I also bought a weight reduction kit on it. So it only weighs 1.02. Um, so I can carry it around always and then it doesn't really affect my weight too much and then I've got it as like an emergency thing uh, I could also eat a lasting feast if I wanted to and then I have even more weight there you go all right people let's get this stuff home to the sinkhole dun, 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 dun. Um, snowing here oh that's it that's what you get for beautiful landscapes unfortunately Cold here in Denmark too. Yeah. One of the most disturbing, real, disturbing the realistic things about this game. Uh, I've not, I've noticed having just started playing is running around killing animal spawns and leaves a bunch of baby animals running around afterwards. It is a bit, it is sad, definitely. Now you've got a couple of choices there, Wraith. You could rescue those creatures if you want to, or you could just like, you know, loot them. You know what I'm saying? Those are your choices. I'm not telling you what you should do. And obviously I would do neither of those things. I would just, you know, I would leave the parents because I'm such a good person. You know what I mean? No one here has ever seen me kill a baby animal. You know what I'm saying? Heat wave in South Africa? Really? What temperature are you seeing there? I have to get my head around the fact that the Aussies are like going into their summer right now. I always find that very confusing. Uh, Conan after all, not the Jane. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's it. That's it. Should we kill the boss while we're here? Could you not chase me, sir? You make me very uncomfortable. I just want to modify you. Stop it. Stop it. Does anyone find um, boss, like killing world bosses and getting legendaries and stuff a bit more exciting now? Because you... Um, like, How do you feel about it? Now that we've sat with the changes to not repairing legendaries... How do you feel about it? Are you on attack now? <laughs> Can you fight that dude? Because I feel like I'm more inclined to fight world bosses. Um, I mean, I always used to do it, but then I just end up with boxes and boxes and boxes of um, legendaries. Um, I think now that my legendary needs to be replaced instead of repaired, I feel like I feel like it's more fun finding them. You know. Up to 36 degrees the other day that is very hot oh my goodness christmas on a summer day is just weird yeah i guess so you're right you should make sure to reunite the family to kill the babies too <laughs> that's it they should, they should they should be together yep yeah i mean you can definitely like take them up take them in rescue them you know and then help them fight the the, like the offspring of the parents <laughs> if you want to I mean there we go Dum -da -da -da. I did know that like legendaries uh not being repairable anymore was gonna be was gonna receive a bit of backlash but I do I do like it now I'm like yeah I see what you're doing you know much preferred it when they had when they had their chests before they were in dungeons. Oh, yeah, I have mixed feelings about that as well. I so on one hand, it was kind of like a nice little reward quickly after you kill a boss to so, sort of loot a chest. Um, so I liked that. Um, but before you had to be level sixty, didn't you? And then they made it so that at le uh, before level sixty you could loot the chest, and they were like, "Well, this is kind of like progression breaking." Um, and so now, now they're in dungeons. I feel... I kind of like it. I don't know. I do have mixed feelings, though. Hello, butler. Hello, hello. Um, Conan was definitely not a vegetarian. Yeah, probably not, yes. Well, my ledge, ledge bees are thrall. And, will be, I will, and I will use repairable items. I see. All your legendary weapons are for thralls now, and you just use repairables. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I think it's really nice that... If you find a really, really high damage strength, like, uh, legendary, the chances are you're going to put it on your thrall anyway, you know? 
And I'm glad, thank goodness, there's no durability loss when they use those. Uh, have a few pets when I go level up. I turn on attack all and run around animal spawns and then afterwards babies are running around everywhere. I don't need more pets. So it's good, like, good luck, little guys. <laughs> yeah. I never bothered with legendary weapons but much before, and even for my thralls. I am only getting keys because uh, leaving open an open chest at the end of the it feels weird. Yeah, it does feel weird. Mm -hmm. It does feel like the reward at the end for me now. Yeah. Okay, with legendary weapon changes. If I need more, I just put to sleep several war bosses, then run a dungeon for more. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool with it now. I So what I don't like, the only thing that I still don't like is the loss of durability for using repair kits on things that are repairable. I don't like that. That's about it, really. Um, because now I just don't use repair kits at all. So, you know. Um, and I feel kind of salty when I see them. You know what I mean? What are good weapons to use besides legendaries? Star metal weapons. Obsidian weapons are good. Kari weapons that you can craft from uh, getting the recipe from uh, the wine cellar dungeon. Um, what else, people? What am I forgetting about? I'm sure I'm forgetting something. What do you use that isn't uh, a legendary? But yeah, if you get a bladesmith weapon, uh, a bladesmith blacksmith, which is a sub-profession of blacksmith, and one of those is for Fellas the Hammer you can get from Mounds of the Dead. Um, it's a, you know, low spawn rate, but you can get him. And there are other bladesmiths around the map. Um, then anything that you can craft in a bench, you can add more damage to it. So, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Some of the weapons that you get from altars can be pretty good as well. From altars. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah, that's true. So the tenderizing that, that you can make from the yog, right? But then you have to try to get the yog named priest who can do that. You can add the damage. You like perfected hardened steel, yeah? Got the keys now stack. Greed looting repair kits feels feels a bit naff now. Yeah, it does. Yeah, definitely. Need to sleep. Got to start at four thirty. Goodness me. Good night. It's been fun. All right, lovely. Thank you for being here. Hope you have a good rest. Let's get ourselves to the sinkhole, people. Da 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 da. Do do. Yeah, but I I'm just so addicted to my Bector Corbin, um, and my Baltier's Razor that I don't really and because the durability on those weapons last really well for me um, even I use them on everything because um, they did say that uh, you know legendaries were going to be more of a situational use you would use them for kind of um, you know tough bosses or things like that anything that you needed extra damage for I use them for everything and I just replace them in time but I do love fighting world bosses and I like going into dungeons to kind of replace them um, I just make sure before it runs out or, you know, that I focus on getting a replacement. So, Are you going to climb down? Climb down from where, Labradrome? Climb down. Ooh, is that like an obvious thing I don't understand? Oh, did I see coal? Maybe, maybe. And it never climbs the eats. Yes. Maybe we could do. So I did say that the other day, actually, because um, he went in like the entrance to the sinkhole um, and I was like, maybe we'll maybe maybe we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. At some point before we finish this playthrough, someone remind me. I did. Yes. Yes. Someone remind me and I will do it. Maybe not right now. And, and it's like, yeah. But yeah, I will. I will because it'll be funny. Even if I fall, I'll find it funny. Dun, 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 dun. The cripple is so annoying in this game, isn't it? Anything that, like, slows me down. It's very effective. It used to be... What was it? Like, the... F oh, one of the perks in agility or something would mean that you just wouldn't be... Cri the crippling effect wouldn't be as strong. But now it's quite unforgiving. Oh, by the way, Gothrad had some changes made to him. This is Gothrad the Oathbreaker. This is Taskmaster. He looks somewhat different. That's what I'm going to say. Um, improve quality of life mod. It's very fun. Uh, right. Let's get rid of these freaking weapons. Just take everything. Da -da -da -da. I'll give you back your momentum. Love the sound that the, um, 
that the doors make on this build set. Super fun. It's like a very good, like stone dragging sound. Okay, we got so much stuff. Right, axes. Look at me being organised. Axes in here. Axe, shield, and sword. I will keep Baltius Razor because I'm going to use that. We'll put my Blade of the Adventure in here. Shields. Axe, shield, sword. Okay, that's it. And then we've got maces. Da -dum -dum. Um, and then daggers. And bows. I could use the pristine bow if I wanted to. I'm going to stick with Reach the Red Mother just because it's a bit better. Uh, we've got two Zabor knives now. I like these because they do this diseased thing. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'll put away the damaged one and keep the undamaged and I can put master weapon fitting on that. So it does a bit more damage. It's kind of fun against uh, flesh creatures. You can stack bleed and this diseased debuff as well. Um, and then I'll keep those. Ooh, what else do I want to do? Uh, I've got creatures to put away. Oh, it's going to take forever to run around. Let's just imagine that I... Oh, look at me running and working really hard here. Gosh, this is exhausting. Um, we put away the jaguars. Okay. When I'm like... Uh, when I finish the stream or before streaming, I turn on creative mode so I can just fly around and put stuff away. Because I have like an actual negative amount of like patience. It's like... It's like physical pain when i'm over encumbered anybody else feel that way is it just me it's like physical pain <laughs> yes there you go let's put uh, metals in here dum 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 do, do, do. not going to use toxins da, da, da. we could put our cook in the cooking thingy now which is Oh, 50-50 chance where I'm going to find it. The problem is, is this place is just too big. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like a freaking giant mansion. Um, and because I'm like a special pharaoh type, type person, I can just fly. It's just natural. Just wish you'd stop judging me. Um, Ica, Ica, Ica will go in the alchemical ways. This is, this is what it has to happen if I'm going to stay tidy. You know what I mean? Everyone who was like triggered by my being very messy at the beginning of the playthrough just have to accept that I'm going to fly around and put stuff away. You're like, I don't care. I know. I'm like, stop arguing with me, chat. It's your bearer. Use your bearer. Um, it didn't work when I tried to use it the other day, um, Plyker. Oh, um, I tamed the cats. We had like two cats. So there's now two annoying ki kitties in here. There's like a little black one. Who we I haven't named them yet. Do you have any name suggestions? And there's this little grey one. There you go. Which we picked up from around the Exilons. All right. Cash in the thingy. Gold dust, silver dust. All righty. And then... Can I put that in there? Now I have to place it. Let's make sure I'm not in this mode. So it doesn't duplicate. Um, I did mention this before, but I've put, I've allocated this chest here for like valuables. So like scales of Dagon, anything I pick up, any of these rewards for fighting bosses I've been storing in here. Um, treasure, anything else? Okay. Golem bits. Da -da -da golem, 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 golem. Okay, what else can I put away? Ah, uh, dragon powder. Um, let's put that in the alchemy thing. Oh, this is the Kari armor. I mentioned that I put it on my dancer. The raider, I think. This is my f uh, overseer. There you go. That's my favorite of the Kari ones. Yep, yep. Just because of aesthetics, really. Bum, bum, bum. Da, 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 da. Um, alchemy stuff. All 
All right. Uh, there we go. We've got so much dragon powder just looted from stuff. Um, curious of mixture we keep getting from Flotsam. Um, right. I think we're doing okay. Maybe we'll get a bit more lotus potion for him. What do we want as well? We need some pork for him to eat. Gave my dancer a Lemurian sarong. I love the Lemurian armor for the for the dancers. It's one of my favorites. There's like a version of it in Fashionist or Immersive Armor. I forget which one, which is really nice as well. It's like it breaks it into kind of like uh, different segments. It's kind of cool. Right, um, we can pork our friendo. There we go. Buff him a new um i do have a bunch of i have a bunch of these potions bum, 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 bum. maybe i need to reorganize this place again so things are closer together i don't know i just have to get over it don't i just do the running around uh there we go a couple of black lotus potions um and i have one elixir of grace i guess i'll take one more probably don't need that many um all right people Are we ready? It's, it's a strange world where I drop Grey Lotus on the ground, but that's how how, how far we've come in this game. Because <laughs> now it's abundant. Um, all right, peeps. Oh, let's put a buff on Seth's truncheon. Um, we can make a blunted weapon fitting for that. In our Tinkerer's Bench. Advanced blunted weapon. That's oh, a blacksmith bench. That would help. It's the right one. Blunted. Advanced blunted weapon fitting. There we go. And that will be our torpidity weapon. Sweet. And I guess we can leave one of the other ones behind. Bum, ba, da, dum. I do have a torturous bench. Uh, friendship acquisition. Uh workshop something like that where is it here sweet so npc camps i guess let me have some water that's not where you're supposed to keep baby animals do we talking about i like the thrill mod that allows you to have them appear in whatever armor clothing you like regardless of what they're wearing i guess that's fashionist are you talking about people on crafting benches um that's then fashionist otherwise um the improved quality of life allows you to change uh people in benches um yes is it improved quality of life anyway this one i can change what he's wearing it's kind of cool Okay, which which NPC camp should we go to looking for friendos? Um, let me eat exquisite meat. Da -da -da -da. Doo -doo -doo. I wonder whether we'll be able to dress them when they become thralls of the world rather than rich. I suspect because they because they've started selling um, items in the bazaar for like uh, crafters and things. I suspect that eventually we'll be able to just change them their clothing in game and what do you think i suspect that's the case oh i need a master weapon fittings um because they you know because it's something they can make money out of um so i feel like there's an argument for the for the work there you know what i mean without being kind of like judgmental i feel like there's an argument to the powers that be to spend time doing that um so i suspect there might be the case and that's good I, i'm always all for anything that incorporates stuff from mods into the base game so that people on console can take advantage of it as well. All right. Um, NPC camps. I don't remember what kind of... Uh, what kind of armour Benaru Heavy Hands is. Um, I don't know if he's a shield right or not, but he's at the summoning place. Let's go and modify some people. Um, let's go I love the euphemisms. Yeah, the euphemisms of the community is game friends with roles. Yes, I enjoy it. I find it funny. It makes me makes me giggle. Yep. 
Uh, it's called something else, but does the same other stuff. I've triggered emotes for different people. Yeah. Um, da -da -da -da. Got my beloved Baltier's Razor now. I'm very happy. An 80 damage, 35% armor pen with a master weapon fitting. Happy. Happy Anna. It's my preferred purge weapon. Just cleaving through groups of enemies. Nice bit of range. I like doing like a left click and a roll. I just kind of, yeah, feel good. My comfort item. Hi there. Da, 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 da. Well, we could go to Sinner's Refuge as well. Hello, sir. Don't expect to hit as well as hard next chapter. Dum, da, da, da. So, dancer spawn. Cook. These are like random spawns, so sometimes they can be an armorer. don't remember what sub-profession Benaru Heavy Hands is. Does anybody know off the top of their heads? I could stop and Google it, I suppose. Okay, our spell page. Okay, we could have done with that guy, but I killed him way too quickly. It was a Tanner. A named Tanner. Yog Arch Priest, don't care about you. Okay. So the steel feud will help against the brute because these guys hit so hard in the wild these days. Let's let him hit us. Go on, hit me. But is he, he going to take a third of my health? What is it? No, not that much. I do have a lot of health though, to be fair. I'm also wearing a decent amount of armor, over a thousand armor now. Do, 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 do. Ah, yes, treasure. I always forget there's treasure in here. I don't know why. Hey. Squeaky. Hello, fluffy cat. Are you chilly? Are you all right, love? The cat has come to investigate me. Did I squeal in some way? If I like squeal because I'm getting attacked, but I mean, if I do a war cry, obviously I don't squeal. Um, don't get confused. Then the cat will come over and like put a paw on my on my leg or something. It's very sweet. We get Cambodian language dictionary. There's like a knife here. Squeakerfin, hi baby. Are you all right? What is wrong? Just fluffing around. This used to be a pit of yog there. There is a there is a yog uh, altar at the back. Yeah. You mean here? Uh, hope that was a new barkeeper. Hope the new barkeeper gets placed at the ghost location on the bar. Uh, they will use that system for all crafters. Then you can place them in the world and change their clothes first. Hmm. I see. It's called something else, but it does the same. Down one level. What down here? No. The, the altar has always been at the top in this, uh, as, as far as I remember anyway, um, the altar has always been at the top there, like uh, in this grand location. Yep, yep. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go to Sinner's Refuge. Oh, I just got like a, oh, just like a chill. Oh. Drafty homes, right? Dum, 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 dum. Right, Thinner's Refuge. Can you follow me, friendo? Da, 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 da. We'll change our Thrall's weapon before we go in there because um, he's just going to destroy exiles with that momentum mace and his buffs. They won't even have a chance to like look at him. They'll just drop dead. Da, 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 da. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. Whenever I respec now, I have to use an admin command to give myself my 60th, um, what is it called, attribute point. 
because um, having used uh, the admin command to reset attributes once, my game is now bugged, so I don't have the 60 points. Fortunately, somebody very kindly gave me the admin command for that. So if I ever respec it before the stream, I assume that's what I've done as well. Which is kind of a pain, isn't it? I need to mention that. Da -da 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 -da. But I don't I don't think it ever happened to me on single player. Either that or I just didn't notice. I don't know. Maybe it's just servers then. Right, let's give you something a little bit less lethal, my friend. See if we can get something good in here. I'm gonna use I guess I'll use the basic truncheon. I'll give him Seth's truncheon for now. Just because it means it won't. Until I get a second one. It won't lose durability if he uses it. Get my chain bindings ready. So we're looking for a shield right. Or just something kind of fun. We need uh, we need a tanner. A second tanner. But I just killed one in summoning place. This is brimstone. It's a really, really good place to look for both crafting thralls and brimstone in here. Um, there's also uh, a bow that you get from in here from uh, one of the thralls and uh, some legendary armor pieces that give you buffs as well, which I'll show you. Oh, hello, sir. God, it's dark. I'm going to use like a short sword if I use a weapon because it's a bit more precise and I can avoid murdering people. I don't have any... What happened? Did he kill his own friend with his with his AoE... He just dropped dead because of his friend's freaking orb. Did you see that? I'm not wrong, am I? Well, he dropped a, a, a volatile gland. That's cool. That is a very a great drop from such a low-level place. Oh, crikey. Hi. I could just, like, use a terrible weapon at this point. Because I so, have so low health. Do you like the Annihilator sword? Quite like it strength builds. I remember that being really good. You get that from the blue dude in the War Maker, don't you? Um, it does... I mean, yeah. 75 damage, 33% armor pen, executioner. It looks very cool. It has this, like, blood stuff growth. Like, like uh, oh, that looks pretty epic. It's got this stuff, like, oozing through it. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks good. I don't know if it's, like, the best. I don't think it's, like, especially... I don't think it's the best thing in the game, but it's, you know, it's perfectly good. Da, 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 da. I think that one used to have, like, 100% armor negation or something like that. I think there were a few things like that in the game that have kind of been nerfed into the ground. Um, although I'm happy about the new changes. I mean, they have added to some really cool, like, functions, uh, perks on legendaries. Dun, 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 dun. These guys are awful fighters. Will just die very, very quickly. Not worth thralling. But the crafters are just as good as crafters you get from anywhere else. It doesn't matter what faction they're from. If they say it's a shield right, or if they say that they're, um, you know, a tanner or whatever, named tanner, then they're just as good as them from anywhere else. And we got a smelter. We want that person. We need a smelter. It's such a great place to get crafters. Hello, friend. You can sleep. I'm after this lady. So I have, like, extra concussive damage from my uh, Skelos Cultist Master armor that I'm wearing. So even though I have no points of authority, uh, I still have do a lot of torpidity damage. Um, but this is a steel truncheon with a advanced blunted weapon fitting on it. There you go. Sweet. That's great. We needed a smelter. I mean, we don't need one because I have crafting time on super fast and I'm using a heat efficient furnace, but it's nice to have people to put on benches. While you're there, don't forget the brimstone. We have so much brimstone at home, Bush. We do not need any. But thank you. Uh, needed it. Nerfed and uh, still decent. Good for smithing. Yeah. You've heard of Scorched Earth. Scorched Buddy is an X level. Okay. Da 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 dum. Do do do. Dum dum da 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 dum. I love the music on New River. It's, I'm like obsessed with it. It just instantly makes me happy. I'm so also very happy that there's a wheel here. Sweet. And friendship acquired. 
Bum, bum. Let's give you your weapon. Right. Uh, next NPC camp. Where should we go, peeps? Um, ba -da -dum. What are our choices? Oh, let me scroll down on this. Wait a sec. I have this, like, uh, combined stream chat, and I have to, like, manually sc scroll on it. It's not good. Um, so we've been to Sepin Rue. We've been to Summoning Place. We've now been to Sinner's Refuge. Uh, we could go to the Galleon. We're not too far from the Galleon. I guess we'll go there next. Seems seems like an a good idea. Did I pick up that person? Squirrel. Yes. Let's go. Exiles and Age of Conan both have really good music. Yeah, I never played Age of Conan. I feel like at some point I'll have to play it just to kind of see what all the fuss is about. But I understand that... Did it not have building? Was it more just like an MMO? <clears throat> Bum, bum, bum. Same with Demon Blood so much so I don't pick it up anymore. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Um, galleon, 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 Galleon. I guess we'll go this way. We'll fight the spider on our way. I'd like to defeat world bosses as I'm travelling around just to kind of keep my skeleton keys up. But excellent movie scores to live up to. Yeah. Music is incredible in this game. It's one of the things that made me like fall in love with the game. Just being on New River with your mates and it's like paradise we see this danger and stuff but it's just it's just so wonderful i love it hard to beat for me i see how quickly we can kill the spider the little dudes are kind of a pain in the butt i've defeated this guy so many times in this playthrough Normally, I wouldn't involve all these little spiders, but I don't have to worry too much about it anymore. Does he still have a... Um, I think he has, still has a truncheon on him. So I guess we're fighting this guy by ourselves. Yeah, you're going to be our aggro friendo. I'm just going to solo this dude. damage we do to him. Do. Poor Pella, he's just confused. There we go. Alright, all the little people who were annoying me. What are you who are you jumping at? I'm not even there anymore. Sit! gave him his weapon? Is he derped out? Behaviour engagement. He didn't do anything at all. I wonder if he's broken in some way. Let's get our skeleton key and some ichor. Um, I get my pets a lot. Um, would you like to see any new monsters? I would love that. That would be really cool. It's an MMO. Mm -hmm. How is archery in this game? I saw some complaints about it. It's a tad low damage. It seems okay to me. If you run, um, if you run like an agility build, like I'm doing, um, I have heard some problems with bows not firing in this uh, chapter. Um, but on the last chapter, I used my bow a lot, and it is so good. It does it does a lot of damage if you have like a lot of points in agility and using an agility bow. Um, there are also now. They've added some bows that are strength based as well, so that your points in strength will do more damage. Um, it, it's not that dynamic, you know, with the bow in this game. Um, but yeah, it's it's it, it does damage. You can just use the bow for most things, definitely. Uh, would you like to see monsters? I hit my pets a lot. The third time I hit my panther, it stopped fighting, walking calmly over to me and in an RP accent said, please, see your archery or learn to aim, or... Um, bless you. Hello, Valentin, how are you doing? Thank you for the look. Love it when the spider throws a tantrum, yeah, definitely. What would you like to see, chat? Would you like to see some new monsters in the game? Or, like, new enemies? What would you, what would you add if you could? We are always talking about things you would add to the game, but no one, we haven't talked about that one. 
Do, do, do. What would you change to the new purge system? I would like to know. Have you been doing purges? Do you not bother? Do you do you miss the old system or do you prefer it? Or are you a, like, I, I never liked purges. I'm glad I don't have to do them anymore. All valid, I guess. Uh, where was I going to go? Do you know what we haven't done? Have we done it? We could go to um, the executioner's entrance, couldn't we? See if we can get the executioner's hood, which was always a thing I used to try to get. Da -da. I don't think it's as good as... I think, is it equally as good as my friend's helmet? Um, I should deal with the spiders first before I do this. Executioner's hood does... is 312... 6% strength weapon. Will you get away from me, sir? Hold on a sec. Right, what do you have on your hood? He has 289 with a bolt, with bolt placing. This is 312 with nothing else. 6% strength weapon damage. That is 8% strength weapon damage. So more damage in the Redeem Legion helmet, so I would choose that. Um, but this one has a higher chance of getting, like, more armor value, right? So if you put a bolt plating... I'm not going to keep this. I'm just doing this for science in case you get upset. Sad that I have to say that, but people do get kind of ragey. They, like, scream and stuff. Um, so without it, it's 312. And with it, it's 337. But yeah. Um, it depends, really, doesn't it, if you have an armour or not. Because we crafted this with a named person, doesn't matter what they are, named armourer, we got 8% strength weapon damage. Um, so, yeah. But you can get this, you can just get this by, as long as you kill the executioner, uh, without crafting it, without being level 60 and being able to craft epic gear, you could get a 6% strength weapon damage, high armour value item. There you go. Oh, I talk too much. Um, dun, 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 dun. I'd like to see more characters from Lore showing up in the Tavern's Adventures. Yeah, that would be lovely, Morden. Definitely. Level 10 purges should give better thralls than you find in the wild. Yeah. There are some things that you do get in purges, like the bearers. There are some bearers that you don't find in the wild that you get in purges now. I haven't really dug into them that much, though. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. I think... Purges, like purge crafters and things, were always uh, like a great fun thing to look for, try to get. I think we need that kind of like thing in, in the in the purges, definitely. Can I see if it wouldn't spawn the enemy camp connected to my wall? Really? Does it spawn that close? That's crazy. Other than that, some better loot would be nice also. Yeah. I like to see wandering enemies on the maps myself. Yeah, so like random um, chance to spawn uh, patrolling kind of enemies, like creatures or like humans. Or That sounds kind of cool. Um, type of thralls you get. I mean, technically speaking, we do have that, don't we? Like say in, um, in the volcano, there are like wandering around humans. One of them is uh, Spinus the Marauder. He used to be very, very, very good. I would like to see them. him. Spinus and Rorder, Dacus the Sharp used to be fantastically good, like, fighters. Now they're, like, fine. They're, like, volcano fighters, but all the volcano fighters are the same. Um, but they wander around. Um, I guess you could have different ones, I suppose. The type of rules that you get from the level 10 uh, is that whack. You get a lot of performers and bearers. Yeah. Change it back on Sipto and able to get a purge. You can't summon a purge, Bush. On Scepter? Are you on console or, P or PC? Uh, Archers will mow me down before I can do anything. I'm sorry to hear that. That sounds like a pain in the butt. Um, I'm surprised they're spawning right next to you because I would have expected them to be like, oh, I can't, we can't spawn here. Do you see the Excel? Um, yes, I did see it, Blyker. It was helpful. It was interesting to see. Like Dafari moving from camp to camp, taking their own prisoners, for example. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Although that activity sounds like it would put pressure on servers. Do you think if they were taking their own prisoners? But yeah, that would be really cool. In theory, sounds very cool. PC. Hmm. 
What I'd like is that the captured thralls depend on the region where your purge base is. So Defari in the desert. Oh yeah, a bit like the old system. Yeah? Yeah? I guess so. The only thing about that is I do like that you can just build anywhere now. And that there are places in, on the map that are... Um, how do I say? You can build anywhere now and not worry about being purged. And you can build anywhere and get any purge that you want to which you'd like to get as well. You know, like the original idea of army enemy armies just moving across the map. Yeah, maybe like in a sequel. Um, I wonder. You know, if we get a Code Exiles two, I feel like this kind of stuff you should put you should post on the forums. You know, um, because I don't know if we're gonna get an upgrade or a sequel. I feel like a sequel would be a long way off if we get one. I don't know unless they're secretly working on one. But then, seeing as they're working on June, oh, we can get a Mitrin Ank here. That's cool. That is the harvesting tool for Mitra. Um, each of the religions, that's a good point, we haven't done religion yet. Each of the religions have a harvesting tool. Um, you go around, once you've defeated an enemy, you harvest their body uh, with a harvesting tool. And depending on the religion, it gives you a different kind of uh, yield, a different kind of, like reward uh what am i saying i don't know yield maybe works uh, this is this is where the snake eggs are there's some snake eggs here we haven't got a snake pet yet at mitra serenity behind the the altar i mentioned this the other day um da -da 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 -da. right let's go to the executions place i think i am getting a cold you know i've got that feeling you know and i've also been a bit like coughing a bit the last couple of days hope not i do feel like i've got a bit of a cold it's been super cold recently um let's snack probably should have picked up some water hello steiger hello hello didn't know about snake eggs yeah bunged up are you bunged up are you templar does anyone here have a cold at the moment i think i i think i just have that feeling that a cold is coming on you know not like ugh. build in deep water and for some reason can't get any purge old or new well it has to be able to path to your door um if you do you have a bridge that's walkable with a path to your door and then do you still not get a purge um for me i like to build um i like to build my base now and then i like to build like a little purge target um there's a little, uh, what's it called? Emote here. Kiss. This is where it is. Um, yeah, I like to put like a little purge base so I can put it wherever I want to and then I can kind of make sure that there's a path that's kind of easier to manage. The one I've been using a lot um, since like the beta, uh, well, after the beta, I guess, is up by Jamila's Liberty. Where is it, people? Is it like here? I think it's here. Um, and I like it here because it's like, if I put foundations on this section, then the purge will always spawn there and they will always come up a slope to my base to attack. And that's brilliant. I love that. Feels something coming to Yeah, it feels something coming to mm. Yeah. What am I doing? <laughs> Just knocked over. Da -da 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 -da. All right, people. Let's go modify some spooders. This would be a great place to use a glowing sword. Some... Could you not knock me over, you fudge? <laughs> they chose no there. My in textures. Can I see? This is with like Age of War darkness lighting. It's still dark as fudge, isn't it? There you go. We're just going to go through. It'll be a bit lighter where we're going anyway. If I can just one hit spiders, I'm very happy. Just generally, because they're a pain in the butt. Uh, this is where we are, by the way. This is Death Whisper Ruins. There are two entrances. Uh, we're going in this one. <laughs> uh, we'll go out the other one so you can see the others. Sit! It's rude. 
There's a lot of spiders. There's also brimstone in here. There's a bit of iron. Um, there's a lot of skeletons coming up and there's a boss to fight. And you can uh, get the executioner weapons from it. Um, and also, what is it called? The executioner's hood, which is really the, my favorite thing to get. Um, but now we have the Redeem Legion helmet uh, on a thrall crafted by a named person. And I, I'm kind of happier with happy with what we have already. But it always used to be the best thing for a while. The best strength buffing helmet for a long time. So this was always part of my gameplay loop. Are you not working? Have I seen him raise his weapon yet? Yeah, he's using it. Sorry you can't see much. I'm just cleaving through chunks of enemies. Switch to the hammer now. I like the uh, Baltius Razor for like groups of enemies to cleave through. And a single target enemy, I really like to use my Bector Corbin hammer, which is my Jersey hammer. There we go. So we haven't done very well this time. We've only got a fragment of power. I think he pretty much always drops a fragment of power and something. Uh, well, fragment power and then maybe something else. So it's the executioner's w weapons, which they've now added the executioner ability to a bunch of different weapons uh, in the game that you can get from legendary chests. Uh, there is, isn't there another weapon? I thought there was, but I guess not. Uh, there's this axe, which does 64 damage and no armor pen. It's pretty decent. It used to be like 50-ish. Um, and execution is a, uh, an ability to take the final 10% of an enemy's health uh, in one hit. The final 10%, right? So it's only really useful for bosses, really. Um, and then execution of blade at 60 damage, 9% armor pen with execution. There you go. Sweet. We got nothing this time. He also drops the executioner's hood that we looked at a few minutes ago, which is really good. But not as good as the Redeem Legion helmet crafted by a named person. Bum, 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 bum. When I saw this here, I got really excited because they added this. It's like this was added in sorcery. I always, I was like, "Ooh, is this going to be something?" Because I always used to think this was like the beginning of a dungeon or something. It's actually just like a mini dungeon, I suppose. Uh, right, we're going to go out the other exit slash entrance. I might just run through because there's not much point killing these things. Sometimes I like to just run past all the spiders if I can. The mini game. Hey, listen, listen, I got plans here. Stop it. You're boring, boring. Stop it. Just tell the spiders they're boring and they get really upset. Do you know what I mean? Loads of iron here. Get off. I mean, they're knocking me over, but I don't have to fight them. I just run out. I run faster, by the way, because of my perks and agility. If you wonder why I move fast, it's not a mod. It's just my per my agility perk. There you go. This should there you go. Executioner's entrance. So there's an entrance, and then what is the other one called? Just Desperable Ruins, I guess. It's over there. It's the other discovery point of interest. Um, Shadow Vengeance the Follow. Ribs and the Follows. Um, base. <laughs> Get off! Just avoid. Oh yeah, we were going to go to the galleon, weren't we? Oh, I'm chilly, peeps. I'm chilly. Oh, um. Oh. Kind of funny as I built my base, the old purge meter just stopped growing and it started to shrink. Did it? That's weird. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. So I guess, like, the last few playthroughs I did... Um, I kind of like emptied my purge meter for myself, even though I love the purge, because I kind of wanted to do things in a certain order. I kind of manually clean, uh, cleared the purge meter. It's kind of, I kind of forget that um, normally it was like a threat, wasn't it? It was like some thing in the back of your mind about your purge meter kind of filling and what am I going to do? Am I going to be level 60 before I get my first purge? Um, will I get have time to like... Um, craft with like tier three stuff 
uh, well, I need to be offline for a bit in order to shrink my purge meter so that I can my, I can be really prepared for my first purge, you know. It was, it was a big part of the game, I guess. Let's go to the galleon, see if we can find any good friendos. That's right. That's right then, to complain to the union leaders, yeah. That's it. Dum 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 dum. Do, 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 do. Right, I'm gonna have to switch him to his torpidity weapon. Oh god. I feel like I need to put another layer on, honestly. Alright there, friend. Do, 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 do. So I generally start a fresh playthrough every chapter. So I will be doing that. Um on this what is it called? December the fourteenth. Just so you know, what's what usually happens here? Um, hmm. Okay, yes. Let's give you your truncheon. Give him Seth's truncheon. Dum, 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 dum. What I could do, if I wanted to, with this Mitch and Ank, I could just harvest all the humans now, and I could store the lingering essence in the fridge, in case I decided to level up a Mitra um, altar. I just don't know if I'm going to do that. Um, I don't know if there's a, enough benefit now. I kind of wish the religions um, were... I, would, I, would, I miss the way they used to be. So I think it's probably cool that they, the weapons are good and things like that. Some of them. Um, but I do miss Ambrosia the way it used to be. I really miss Yog. Yog's like purified flesh or whatever it was called. I really miss that. I always used to pick Yog, and I would always use it as healing stuff. I think I feel like I talk about this every playthrough, how I like wish. I wish the religion's uh, foods were like the same as they used to be. Um, are you like, what are you doing, buddy? Is he kind of derpy? Was it because of the truncheon? Hmm. I don't know what's going on. Check the two boxes under the boat for possible legendaries. Have you ever seen a legendary in those? I don't know if I have, but I don't generally check them. I have sometimes, but gen not usually when I'm playing. Uh, streaming. Bum, 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 bum. He is working. He's just being intermittently weird. I don't know what that's about. Da da da. Do, do, do. This is such a great NPC camp. We've got so many good trolls from here in the past. It's kind of chaotic. It's it's always fun, like earlier on in the game, to see if you're ready for this place. All the like arches are kind of go pretty hard. Da da da. Just like swinging my hammer around, seeing if I hit anybody. Da -da -da -da. Okay, night time will be over very quickly. Got the lag on all these bodies. Alright, so there's one of our bearer friendos. I guess we could do with another named bearer. I like to have spares of things. Anybody else like that? I, haven't, I don't feel like I haven't got something if I haven't got a spare sometimes. Hello, Grey Owl. I miss Yogg's touch. So I make my own way to the corner. Is that a corner joke? Is it? Is it a sign that I'm tired that I don't recognise it as a corner joke? Um, Yogg's touch, is that still good? It used to be amazing, the... What's it called? The, the axe that you can get from the Warmaker dungeon. 60 and 28 it used to be like incredible that's a yeah that's yeah 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 so there's another axe with um armor pen and it's very high armor pen six tw uh, 28 armor pen uh Keledric, if you saw here yeah that was the good thing about yogg's touch it's so good armor pen i feel like people don't talk about it anymore bum, ba, dum. Do, do, do. Dun, dun, dun. 
It's nice just to play the game sometimes. Wait, stop it. I find if you're looking for something like a shield right or a blade smith or a blade right or something like that, um, blade smith, sorry, then um, I find the best thing to do is just to kind of incorporate some regular visits to NPC camps into your gameplay. Because if I'm like, oh, I'm going to try and get a bladesmith today, I might get frustrated about it because I don't find one. But if I just play and I just go, okay, let me just go to like mounds and, you know, visit some of the NPC camps, then I'll, I will find what I need. I, I seem to always get a shield right and a bladesmith um, on each playthrough. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, hello there. Dum, dum, da, 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 da. Get off my horse, he doesn't like that. That's particularly laggy today, I don't know what... I don't know. Is it my settings or something? Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. Mm, egg surprise, yummy. Um, I'm between 300 to 400 thrills, but not to mention pets. Are you playing on single player, Bush? That sounds like a lago, lago, lagorama. I assume it's not on a server because there's a cap on, certainly on officials. Is it your own server? Oh, here's the cat today. It's decided to be here. This is a legendary, um, what is it called? Heroic treasure. You have to walk it away. Which I, I'm not going to bother with. Dum, 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 dum. making me dizzy all this lag dum, 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 dum. or oh, frame rate i guess there is a lot going on in this area though to be fair a lot of a lot of npcs usually i have my render distance on low um it's usually what my like my compromise on survival games generally did you just fall through the ground? Play on someone else's server. I see. So, but they don't have like a cap. I see, I see. Fair enough. Yeah, it's one of the biggest like sources of lag. Um, they were talking about... One of the reasons they, they brought the cap onto official servers was because they were bringing out mounts and um, they were concerned that the, just the game would just wouldn't work because uh, of trying to render in everybody's straws as you moved around the map so quickly but <clears throat> yeah but then they didn't bring the cap in for ages after they announced it even though most of us like i deleted so many of my thralls when they announced it but then they did also change them so that the they brought in like the thrall leveling system as well so yeah most of my old thralls were just rendered to kind of useless in any case did I pick up your bag, friend? Bum, 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 bum. Let's check in the bare spawn points. It's always good to have a bit of loot. Dum, dum, dum. She did not want you touching a treasure cat. She didn't, did she? She was like, this is my cat. Get your hands off, lady. Respell page. Okay, just pirates. Armorer, but not a named. Blacksmith, tier two. Alchemist, tier one. <clears throat> Dum, 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 dum. Right. 
Right. Let's get on the old horse, Rooney. I don't think I left anything in that thrall wheel just then. But I guess we could check. There's one squishy sorcerer. I know. Dun, 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 dun. Nothing in there. Okay. Have we got have we got people chasing us. Well, chat, I think I'm gonna leave it here for today. I feel myself getting ill. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have a cold. But I'm gonna put some extra layers on and have some hot food or something to try and warm up. Um thank you everybody so much for hanging out today. I will be back tomorrow here on Twitch and on YouTube. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yes, Ch uh, join us on the Discord if you haven't already. It's a way to join our server if you'd like to do that as well. There's a link in the chat. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, subscribe on YouTube if you haven't. T follow on Twitch if you haven't already. I would appreciate that. Thank you for all the follows, the bits of subs, the gifted subs, the subscriptions on YouTube, all the things today. Um, if, sorry if I've forgotten anything. My brain's stopping working. Um, yeah, and I'll see you tomorrow. We might do some more Conan, um, or we might do something else. I don't know yet. We'll see, um, and I'll let you know. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. See you soon.